And I think we're good to go. All right, we are live. Good. Give me a second to just send out some invites and we'll be good to go. I think we got everything. Good, 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 good. Finally. Finally some good news. Excuse me so much about that. Uh, and yeah. <coughs> I'm not as sick as I used to be. I have no temperature anymore. I'm just coughing a lot. Well, not as much as I was, but... So yeah, let's get people in here. Let's see how many people... I actually want to see me play a stupid game. And yes, I do feel like playing this game again. All right, we good? We good, everybody? Can y'all see it? All right. Let's see what options we got. 12, 1080 by 1280? Yes. No, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, window. There's a window. Yeah. That gonna work? Or is that gonna be a problem? Oh, that's gonna be an issue. Oh, wonderful. Hi. Failed to lower one of the all resets failed. Oh, wonderful. Got to restart everything. So I'll try again. One second, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. <laughs> yeah, call, that was just a mistake right there. I have no idea. Wait, is the game not aligned properly in the window? Oh my, oh my god, you guys are awesome. Hey, Streamlabs, what are you fucking doing? Why are you cutting everything off? Oh, I'm cutting everything off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, did I just fuck up? So, how old are you, anyways? I am... 19 to 39. Yeah, sure you are. Here are the Peace and Tribes questions. Which of the dances, which of these is the population? The Macarena, the wardrobe malfunction, the ensuing scandal, and the public relation tango? Hail Macarena! Which of these have millions of drunk worshippers as the porcelain god? The statue of Jean Arc and the toilet bowl? Which half of the pen and teller is the one that speaks? Teller, but not the with words. Neither. One is silent and the other one shouts. <laughs> so, I kind of like to do this because this. Yeah, I was right. It was all of the above. Minoxidil is used to treat heartburn, rhodium, baldness, thickness of water, debris, pain, and swelling of noogies. I'd say baldness? Now slip into your leisure suit and prepare to enter the lounge lizards. Reloaded. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded because I want to do something simple. Your name is Larry. Larry Laffer. You arrived in beautiful lost wages without luggage. The airline lost it. Without a hotel reservation, you forgot to get one. And without a clue. You've never had one. You exit the cab. The hot, dry air of lost wages hits you in the face like a hard slap. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. 
After your cab ride, you may be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the leisure suit. You're in town to find true love. I haven't streamed in a week. To get I lucky need to make donations way, or something. That's Anything okay. I can at the moment. After all, you you're know. nearly 40. And still a bird... Still untouched by human hands. I am now officially out, older ladies. than him. I'm finding love I'm tonight. I'm older than freaking Larry now. Because I deliberately gonna... scrape your finger on the sidewalk because it feels so good when you stop. Let's walk over here. This is where the sidewalk ends. Do we have to pay Shell Silverstein a royalty for that? He just said he's nearly 40. In this game, he's nearly 40. He's not 40 yet. Yep, feels like your classic sidewalk end. Number 69. You try your best, but your attempt at writing Larry was here in urine on the side of the dumpster really doesn't hold up to the existing artwork. Yeah, whatever. This is either your typical industrial dumpster or a repurposed photo mat. Both. It's both. I'm really lazy when it comes to walking around. Hey, we can just walk in a place. It's nice. Oh, wow, there's people in here. Hi, everybody. One of Lefty's conquests? This place looks so much more different than it does in the newer game. Remember the new game? You pick up lefties, but realizing that you have no place to oh, put it, awesome, you Target. gently set it back right but where yeah, you got it. Yeah, donations are open. I absolutely need them no more than anything. I have to make at least ten dollars tonight because I need to help. A bu I need to get a bus ride to rush my roommate out to the, my dentist tomorrow so that he can get the t tooth looked at that got lost today when he was coughing. Because now he's sick. Liquor in the front, poker in the rear. Okay, I'll poker in the rear. That sounds good to me. You are in a dimly lit oh, I know the, route. the peeling wallpaper gives the roaches something to watch. Clutter here. fills the room, and a filthy drunk wearing filthy clothes sits on the filthy floor, leaning his filthy back against the filthy wall. And get calm in here. Even cause... empty, these are too heavy for you to move. Ooh, porn. Buried under the usual skin mags are some real collector's items. Oh, One of them there? is Juicy Japanese and Jewish. Juicy Japanese and Jewish! <laughs> magazines sit on the floor. Jewish what? Yes. Let's grab that wedding wing. Score! People should stay as far away from these boxes as possible. What is this, though, in the Which front? is a shame, because it's a tidy room and people have to use it all the time. In fact, I want that Yeah Baby sound effect. These cartons of asbestos ceiling tiles were in a flood, so they're moldy and caked with dried sewage. You can't get closer to death in a box. This toilet looks disgusting on the outside, but you have to look past the surface putrefaction and try to see its inner virulence. Okay. Well, we're just gonna pee. You pee yeah, into the toilet. <sighs> no, we don't. We don't see pee. Great. You hit the top, the seat, the tank, everything but the bowl. Hey, me! That is absolutely me. You pee into the toilet. Hmm. Not a lot left just now. You're running on fumes, Larry. Yeah, I'm gonna get that yeah, baby, and put it as my donation sound effect. What do you guys think about? <laughs> or a sound effect. Yeah, yeah, I'm old. The enough. lamp is useless without its shade. Or even with it. There is a single lovely, long-stemmed red rose in a delicate bud vase standing incongruously on a keg. Okay, then we're gonna grab that. You deftly pluck the rose from the vase and carry it with you. Okay, now, since Kame's here, we have to have Kame. So this is gonna, this is for Kame because this is just an Easter egg for Kame. Hey, did someone just yell at me? Yeah, well, what does it matter? If only taxis were free in Vegas, like they are here. Taxi. Yeah, baby. Hey, Mac, where you headed? Lefties, the Kame. Go. Ooh, come and go sounds good to me. 
it. I'm not signed for 12 miles. All right, 19 bucks. Just wait my half. Thanks, kid. Seriously, how much money do I have? So here we go. This is just for you guys right now. You pick up the phone, and to your delight, you get a dial tone. This thing must be set to free play. Five, 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 one, two, three, four. Thank you for calling the five, 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 one, two, three, four hot to trot chat line. Now, swinging singles like you can chat one on one with other swinging singles. Also like you, <laughs> there's nothing hotter than guys who spend their Saturday nights at home paying $2.99 a minute to make awkward small talk with invisible strangers, most of whom are other guys. You're also invited the 2014 to call our remake. Psychic Legal Hotline. Press 2 now to get real legal advice from a psychic. Or press 3 now to get psychic readings from a real lawyer. <laughs> or press 4 now to connect with our Tractor Trailer Trekking Institute. Find out how you can earn fast money driving big rigs for 48 hours straight on nothing but coffee and Slim Jims. All lines are down for maintenance. I just got a move from Please somebody. Later. Oh my Thanks. god, you're awesome. You are awesome, uh, um, Melody. You are awesome. Yeah, baby. Hello. Welcome to the National Quickie Sex Survey Hotline. Please answer the following questions. I may have something wonderful waiting for you. First, a few questions about you. What is your name? Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Ooh, your name is... Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. What a sweet name. So tell me. Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. What is the best part of your body? What is the best part of Marvel's body? I mean, my body. Somebody um... say it. No. You are awesome. What is the best part of Marvel's body? Come on, people. Anyone say, anyone say it. Dick. All right. Uh, you want me to type the dick? Uh, just penis, dick. Fine, Z Dick. Oh, I so love a man with a manly one of those. And Larry, <laughs> Larry, Larry. What is your favorite X-rated video? Can I just leave that one there. Mm, mine too. I just love that part with the sex. Now, tell me your favorite article of clothing. Uh, my favorite article? Robe. Oh. Larry. <laughs> Larry, Larry. I can just picture you in it. Now, a few questions about your favorite lover. I said robe, not robe. Larry, <laughs> Larry. What is your favorite sex partner's first name? Who should my favorite sex partner be? I'm looking at Kame. I'm looking intently at Kame. Because looking intently, I said robe. We're typing Kame in. <laughs> Plaxer, you cannot make bad jokes, please. <laughs> Put goat. I'm not gonna put a goat in. That just sounded wrong. Just hang out, okay, goat. <laughs> Fine. Goat it is. What's the best part of his or her anatomy? 
What is his or her sexiest article of clothing? Uh, what would the sexiest article of clothing for a goat be? Especially those goat girls we showed you last night. Hat. <laughs> Bell. What would the sexiest thong hat? Fine, I'll put a hat. I like the idea of hat. What's his or her favorite naughty toy? <laughs> the eyes. Favorite naughty toy and odd. The revenge. The double. And where do you two most enjoy making love? Yeah, me too. And finally, <laughs> what do you and your lover like to do when you're together? <laughs> Thank you for participating. Your answers really turned me on. Harry! No, I don't know anything, especially Your a reported prizes. female. Recorder answered the question. <laughs> hmm, looks like they hung up on you. Oh well, it was probably a bummer prize anyway. So there's a reason why we did that, and you're going to see it right now. Are you going to enter the store? Welcome to the come and go. Please keep your hands where I can see them. Hello? Yeah, baby. Hi, Larry. This is Goat. I was just sitting here in Kami's bed wearing a sheer robe and thinking about you if you know what I mean. Why don't you forget about that silly game and come over to my place? I'll slip into my hat and it'll curl up in front of the fireplace and stick in our copy of Gogan's Gone Wild. You know, this, <laughs> you know yours a dick has always turned me on, so bring along a double-decker dildo and come play with my horns. Pretty soon, we'll both get excited and we'll stream bad video games like we always do. Bye, Larry. See you soon. Ugh. <laughs> 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 I warned you guys! I warned you I was gonna be doing something stupid tonight, and that's actually the whole reason why I did this. This that this whole this whole the Easter egg's the whole reason why I did this tonight. Somebody highlight that for me. <laughs> Welcome to the come and go. We only carry up to twenty thousand dollars cash in the safe. Oh I'm not supposed to say that. Oh, aren't you a genius? Uh, how do I know how much money I have? You're in seventy-five dollars in cash. Okay. We are open twenty-four hours for all your unsavory needs. Okay. Uh, that's not talk, is it? You inhale the clerk's aroma. Oh, God. He smells of exotic herbs from faraway lands and underachieving deodorant. Peter Parker condom ser served here. Wrong finger. <laughs> Wrong finger. They carry condoms here, but they must be kept behind the counter. We have no public bathrooms. If you absolutely must, please go in the alley like everyone else. Ew. You can't have a conversation with that. It doesn't like the way you spit when you talk. All right, let's give some wine. Harvey Steen wine. I don't like it as much as Napa Valley Outhouse, but it is a buoyant and syrupy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. <coughs> Not only 
loitering if you're looking around still. Oh, very nice. You click on your mother with that mouth? Yes. Do you need any help? Well, yeah. My name's Roddy Contiki. You don't need help. That's a great name. <laughs> anyway, I'm in a 12-step program. I try never to be more than 12 steps from a liquor store. Like that? I made that up. Anyway, nobody will sell me anything anymore, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. So if you happen to come across any semi-fine fermented beverages, I'd reward any generosity you'd care to show. Okay. I'll remember that, Mr. Contiki. You will? Huh. I didn't give you enough credit. I like the fucking bullet holes decorating the window and all that stuff. And that, the fact that it's called the Harvey Steen Wine. Oh, he's from Buffalo, New York. You're gonna... There we go. Oh, look. Harvey Steen wine. You shouldn't have. Thanks for thinking of me. Who is Harvey Steen? You're more than welcome. <laughs> Never hmm. boxed wine really isn't that bad. And reminiscent of a Manischewitz cream red Concord. I think I'll share this with my friend Chris. Maybe you know the guy. Kind of this tall, about this wide, brownish hair. I don't think I know him. Used to be a cabin boy. Lives next to the toilet in Lefties. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyway, here's a thank you from me to you. The fuck is that? One of my prized possessions that I don't want. A genuine French army knife. Wow, yeah, thanks! Real nice, the ulterior motive just get, it makes it worse. More for giving a box of wine to a bum to receive a pocket I wouldn't knife. count on it in a fight, if you know what I mean. Thanks again. Not uh, for sure about it. Is there a safe? Yes. Let's not fuck up. Taxi! Hey, bud, where are we going? Jesus is coming, look busy, Jesus Christ. Uh, I guess we need to go back to the left. He's 69, Wedding Chapel, Caesar's Phallus. Oh, goddammit. And that's it. There's only four areas. Always low overhang. Always. It's not that low. And that'll be 22 bucks, Mac. I wish they would have automated this so that we didn't have to worry about it. Thanks, kid. He looks so angry of a driver today, which is kind of weird. You slip a buck into the jukebox and search for a suitably sleazy selection. Taxi cab ride in hell. The air for a G-string. Try for a little dorkiness. Oh, hey. Gonna hit the save button right here. You know, so we can fuck this up. That's about the whole amount, baby. Nothing. Nothing happens when you press there. Oh, see, we can just cheat it. I love the fact that games actually do stop you from save stating, save scumming like this nowadays. I'm kind of curious, if you could do save scumming in real life, could it work to win the lottery tickets? Because I've heard these things are actually set on a set standard. Alright. It feels oddly generic, as if you felt something just like it before, elsewhere. Yeah, uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. So, somebody was trying to talk to me? Wanting to be humane to the drunk, you clap him firmly on the shoulder, stroke his head, pat his hand, and get up close to him. 
So tell me, no, it how are you doing? Ah, oh, thanks for asking, Belly. I'd be just great if only my impetigo would clear up. <laughs> what? What's the impetigo? Once more, you get close, but not too close to the drunk. Have you thought about going to a doctor? Nah, you go to a doctor and they just want to make you better. Then you get sick again and you start this cycle of destruction. No thank you. Is there anything I can do then for you? Fine, I'll pee on you. That should make you better. You proudly display your member to the trunk. Is that your wiener? Yep. Wow. I've never seen an innie before. <laughs> God! You run your finger up and down her knee. Excuse me. Did I tell you you could touch me? Yes. You said it with your eyes. Next time, get confirmation from my mouth first. Okay, loser. Oh, so it'll be a next time? <laughs> you must be tired. You've been running through my mind all day. I know, but you keep following me anyway. That is epic. Sorry if this sounds a little squirrely, baby, but I'd like to store you in my cheek pouches for a snowy day. Really? I'd like to crack your skull like a nut and bury your brains in the park. Alrighty then. We're really starting to make a connection, eh? Oh, I wish it was long distance. She is awesome. How's it hanging? By the angle of the dangle and the heat of the meat. <laughs> Classy. Never heard that one before. Be polite, Larry. Look at the man first. He's one of Lost Wages' finest benefactors. Fine, who is he? That's Jordan Lee. He's here frequently, and they say he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Curiously, in Florida, oh, Arizona, and Montana, just to watch him die is a valid legal defense against homicide. Hey, loser! Wanna go get into some serious fucking trouble? Yes. Hey! hey! No! That's a shame. I know some major shit going down tonight. It's gonna be awesome. That sounds boss. No, it doesn't. Go. I guess people don't mess around with you. They misjudge me. For instance, just because I know 1,001 ways to inflict pain on the human body doesn't mean I like to hurt people. I suddenly have to go. I get that a lot. Oh, come on. I guess people don't mess around with you. They misjudge me. I suddenly have to I get that. It's appropriate to make eye contact. Who are these guys? Are they like sub The gentleman filling his face is Tom King, a regular at Lefties and the kind of guy you love to have with you at the movies, so you don't have to talk to him for two hours. <laughs> Looking at me? Can't blame you, actually. I got that handsome, roguish look. It's a curse. But hey, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> of course I okay, do. Michelangelo. Yeah, I'm sure you know lots of handsome guys in my situation. The one with the bottomless gut is Michael Hirschman. He's been coming to lefties for years, bending the elbow and running up a classically huge bar tab. He just paid it back, which is partly the reason lefties is open tonight. Yeah? What's up? I was just looking for women. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. It's pretty much a sausage fest here. I mean, I'm pretty, oh, but not that no. pretty. You, know you are I mean? awesome, Mr. Sure uh, Security. No, you don't. So what do you do for a living anyways, Security? Manners, manners. Look at someone first, then annoy him. This here Hi. is a respectable lefty supporting gentleman. Hi, who is this fat ass? This international bon vivant, Francois de Keat, is one of lefty's big investors. And being from Europe, he's extremely yep. cool. Wow, you're cool. I know, right? It's almost too cool how cool I am. No, it's bad. Ooh, and you speak Klingon too. <laughs> no, I, don't, I, don't think so. <sighs> I resent your chiseled features, your height, and your easygoing, laid-back demeanor. Can I have your life? No, I have too much cool to fit into that little body. French is not Klingon. French is the furthest thing from Klingon. One is the language of love, and the other is French. Wait, what? <laughs> not a lot of ladies around here. <coughs> I don't know where we can find some sheep. I'm what? not there yet. What? 
What? You really got the boyish devil may care thing down, Tom. I'm jealous. Well, it can't be learned. Have a seat at the bar first. What do you think? You take a seat on an available bar stool. And now let's see what we can order from this guy. Blah, 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 blah. The aristocrats. <laughs> so what was the setup to that punchline? I don't know. Hello? What'll it be? Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Okay, what do we got? Champagne, wine, light beer, vodka, beer, whiskey, nothing. I ain't selling no sissy drinks here. Try again. Okay. Hello? What'll it be? Around? Light beer, vodka, beer, whiskey. What do we do around? Are you sure? It'll cost you ninety dollars. Yeah. Fine. Let's see if we can get a round going. You rap loudly on the Nagahai door. Yeah. What's the password? Uh. Uh. Swordfish. Damn fool. Have some originality. Beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. Why vodka? Wait, you're Mexican, next, please. Your not. breath is repugnant. Repug your breath is bad. Just remember, a bush beer gives you great head. Yeah, baby. Ah. Seriously, I love this animation style, because even though it looks like crap, it's great. You're already well wiped. Thank God. What the fuck? Fine, let's use the this. You turn on the hot tap. Immediately, steam starts to chug from the spigot. Technically, steam is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice some writing in the mirror. Ken sent me. That right. could be important. I'll have to remember it. You grab a scrap of toilet paper and, cleverly chewing one of your fingernails to the quick, you scrawl the words Ken sent me in blood on the paper. You turn yeah, off the hot tap and the mist slowly clears. You can't open it. It just hangs there mocking you. Of course, you're used to things just hanging there mocking you. <laughs> yeah, but he has an innie, so is it really hanging there? I mean, no, seriously, if it's an innie, is it really hanging there? I want some of these things, like the gun. So I know I have there's some things I'm missing, so. And yeah, you can save the game and just be like, save. It feels oddly generic, as if you felt something just oh, yeah, like I do. it I before that. I need... elsewhere. stop this one. I know there's one I have to actually do have to do this on later on. No one can hear you. You rap loudly on the Naga High door. Yeah. What's the password? K. 
Ken sent me, baby. You read off the strange wow, the password so you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me? Yes. Yeah, baby. Ah, you it recognize awesome. this setup from a number of art films you've viewed. The gentleman before you is basically working the front desk. His employee is upstairs, waiting to provide quick expert services to a discriminating clientele. I want a gun cabinet filled with sex toys and bondage items. Look at butt plugs, uh, handcuffs, various dildos. Is that a whip? Yeah, that's a whip. That's a cat of nine tails. That's a ball gig. No. What's happening, man? Just hanging out. What's upstairs? Nothing you'll ever get to see. Why? What is it? It's a woman, little man. And she's too much for you. You're not getting by me. Just put it out of your head. Well, that just makes me want to go up there even more, right? Makes me want to figure out a way to get past well, you. That could be a penal pump, too. You're this, aren't you? Sir, that's a whip. Yeah, you're right. It is a penis pump. Let me up there. Not as long as Prodigious P is standing here. Prodigious P. Since nobody seems to be using it, you glom the remote. Yeah, baby. The remote is out of juice. It's not currently working with the TV. All right, so we're going to need batteries. You pick up lefties, but realizing that you have no place to put it, you gently set it back right where you got it. But dark water, is it a Swedish made penis enhancer? One, book, the uh, Swedish made penis enhancer, and me, that's my bag, babe. Apples, apples, apples for sale. Get your fresh apples here, only one dollar. Why are you in a bucket? Why are you literally in just a bucket? Here's a buck. I'll take an apple. Oh, Thank God you, sir. Here you go. Did you have that in your asshole? Because it, it sounded like you um, did. Um. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that, that's just terrifying. We're just going to <laughs> Okay, guy. Where will it be? So what should the sound effect be? Should the yeah, baby be for subs people who have subscribed? Or people who have the heat on his batteries? One Obel yield to oncoming mushroom crowds, or should it be the people he just who says twenty three bucks? Pay up. No tips is staying the Omo, but the yeah baby could be for people who watch also. What's this? You trying to stiff me? Of course not. You're a dude. I mean, you trying to cheat me out of my fare? I didn't know it was gonna be that much. Uh, now see, in my book, that ain't a reasonable excuse. Now I'm going to have to myrtleize you. Wait, tell me more about your book. No. Take it. Oh, oh, put the flag down. Oh, Ow. Take it. Oh. 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 Yeah. Larry, cab rides can cost up to $24 in this town. Didn't we mention that before? Silly us. What, no re reanimation? Oh, wow. Let's look at it. see what we got. And $22 in cash. All right, looks like we do have to farm money or figure out a way to farm money. All right, asshole. Spin to win. Yeah, at least get some money from this. Nothing happens when you press. Don't you love that? It did game over. I had to start all over. I it just basically took me back to the last same spot, same spot I was. Fuck yeah, double money. There we go. I wonder if you could do this in real life. Wait, 
What I mean is, I wonder if you have the power to save state yourself. Could you cheat one of these? You gonna be okay? You gonna be okay, Tarthbot? We care. We really do care about you, hon. You rap loudly on the Nagahai door. Yeah? What's the password? Remove your hand. You read off the... Uh, yeah, baby! Ah, you recognize the gentleman waiting to... What's happening, man? What's upstairs? Why? It's a... Well, you let me... Let me... Let me... Not as long as prodigious peas standing here. Yeah, baby. You're awesome, crazy. Since nobody seems to be using it, you glom the remote. So why does he have double protection? That you have to have the key, the door name, and stand there. This old TV is in sad shape. The on-off and channel dials are missing. How can you even turn it on? You wind up the teeth. They immediately make a sad winding down sound and <laughs> barely jiggle. Rip off. Don't touch it. You don't know what it's been. You don't know what it's been. Yeah, that's better. That's just so much better. And then we'll get back to Nightmare Before Christmas after this, and then figure out something what else to do after all that. Apples! Apples! Apples for sale! Get your fresh apples here, only one dollar. The fuck is this guy anyways? And the Ken sent me has to be a Ken Williams Here's show. a buck, I'll take an apple. Thank you, sir. Here you go. God, that just wet, juicy sound effect. Um, ew. Yeah, baby! I think I have enough to pass. Okay, guy, where'll it be? Yes, yeah, so we are all here a wet squeeze. Now, where can I find batteries? Caesar's Phallus? Actually, if we're gonna need money, we'll go to Caesar's Phallus. Yield to incoming mushroom clouds. Seventeen bucks, pal. Does he just Thanks, randomly get the number every time? Ooh. That is a nice go get being girl. Oh, kitty kitty! You'll have to get closer. The pussy is avoiding you. Sound familiar? Fuck you. That is a badass statue. That's Nama, the demon goddess of prostitution. Or possibly the sculptor's ex-wife. I don't care, she's cute. Yeah, there's a wet squeezing sound effect. Oh, hey, girls. Wow! As the kids say these days, hubba hubba and bubba ba boom Larry, wipe your chin. You're drooling again. Oh yes. my god. I think I'm in love. I agree with that. These guys are girls are kind of cute. Hey, baby. Are you from the Caribbean? Yes. No, why? Because you're making me crazy. I oh, hate you so that's much. cute. How you made a pun using the name of a country. Let me see if I can do that. Your attempt to pick me up is real pathetic. It makes me think you don't have a Bahrain in your head. That's, uh, pretty good. Now leave me alone, turkey. And now about this person. So, uh, hiya, baby. I hope you own a black cat, because I'd like to get familiar with you. Wow, I've never heard that one before. That is really cool. Thank you. Then let's blow this pop stand and take this party downside. I can't. The Lost Wages basketball team is coming over later, and I promise I'd do them first. <laughs> Maybe some other time. <laughs> you cute in a really poxy Weber kind of way. Oh, you mean Anson Williams? Who's that? The guy who plays Potsy Weber? What do you mean, Ooh. plays? You really can pick them, can't you, Larry? Yeah, she's she's a genius. She is an absolute... Let's go with the old lady. That sounds perfect for him. Hello, ma'am. 
How are the slots treating you today? Get bent, loser. Excuse me, did I say something to offend you? Cram it! Am I disturbing your rhythm or something? Yes. And your breath smells like a sea urchin died in your mouth. And you tried to cover up the rotten stink with lemon pledge. You're fun! Yes, she is. Any luck on that machine? Yes. All bad. If I wasn't on the casino's board of directors, I probably wouldn't even bother playing. Any luck on that machine? Yes. Oh, if I wasn't on the... I like the fact that he's dressed in Green Bay Packers, which is my friend's favorite team. You don't look like you're having much fun. I know. I should go back to my regular job. What's your regular job? I sell software. I'm just in lost wages to try to find true love. Tell me about it. I just did. Wait, is that the original Leisure Suit Larry and that's the modern Leisure Suit Larry? Because that's the same voice actor and everything. So, like, are you Why would you come to Vegas to find true love? Type? Rebelling against injustice by symbolically giving the man the finger with your freakish hairstyle? Nah, I just like pissing off my mom. Alright. Now that's a fancy elevator. It looks sleek and brand new. The women just swimming by. You take the piece of paper. Yeah, baby. Buffett, cool. I guess Jimmy Buffett is playing. You're an idiot. Cabaret. You don't. You're about as French as Champagne, and thank you, whatever his name is. Well, yes, I will take the unattended. You score off. the tank of helium. Do I want to know what I want to take helium for in this one? Yeah, Zap Brad again. Welcome to Chef Jeff's American Tavern Bar and Grill with the all day, all night buffet. And now I'm hungry for Jeff buffet Hillary's food. First but not Lost this Wages food. restaurant features many of the signature dishes from his popular program. Kapwing! More onion powder! But oh no! Somebody has spilled 12 globs of food that aren't from the buffet! Can you find all the poorly hidden globs of extra food? Hey, uh, Kame, can you answer what they're talking about there? Congratulations! You found a sample of Chicago-style food. A five-inch thick blob of underbaked pizza crust with bratwurst oil dribbled all Ugh. over it. Congratulations! You found a sample of American Chinese food. Mugu Nuff said. Congratulations! You found a sample Look of good American Look at what Dobby asked about Caesar. Cuisine. Kaisar. Molten urinal cake. Congratulations. You found a sample of cozy main cuisine. Old chum. Congratulations. I would eat the fuck you out of found fries. a sample of northeastern cuisine. New England clam chunder. We may not be streaming tomorrow because of an accident. Uh, for those who don't know, I've been sick all week and so is Luna. Well, in her coughing fit, she kind of... Uh, dislodged a tooth and now we have to go to emergency dental in the morning if my dentist can't help we have to get a car and drive out to the middle of nowhere and yeah congratulations you found a sample of american southern cooking that's a cow kill in a dishwasher congratulations you found a so sample we have to get of the politically correct vegan's so delight locally discarded <coughs> Congratulations, you found a sample of Nolan's Fair, fried green lunch meat. Congratulations, you found a sample of great traditional French food, Grim Brulee. Okay. Congratulations, you found a sample of Nouvelle Cuisine, deconstructed glop. Ew. Congratulations, you found a sample of Ludafisk. You don't need it, it's only good for wrapping fish. Congratulations, you found a sample of modernist cuisine, toast-filled ravioli on buttermilk froth. Congratulations, you win the Leisure Suit Larry Disgusting Buffet Hidden Object Game. You get a bottle of hot sauce. Tasteless yeah, Dave's Butt Burner. You're ahead of the game when you can stop tell all the slop and glop. A word for earning the hot sauce from my fine... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You start to take the ketchup bottle, but it's gummy and sticky and immensely unappealing. You can't take it. The kid stays in the picture. Oh, God. Oh, God. It is a goat head. Eat this, and you'll feel awful, awful in the morning. Best not to touch these. Sometimes they're not quite dead. 
What are they? Nobody knows what's really under that deep-fried batter. But if you ask them in the kitchen, they'll say, You mean the anchovy nuts? And burst into uncontrollable laughter. It's good old Jewish-American cuisine. Buffalo chicken soup. Ew. This is just a virulent bin of last week's house-made mac and hollandaise, separating and clumping and curdling as we speak. Okay, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving right now. At least I have some hot sauce. Hot sauce is awesome. What do I need helium for? I mean, I'm fine with doing poplars. Slots, slots, or slots? Which one should I do? Let's do these slots. Peaches! Yeah, I need to figure out. Jack, there's the arrows to increase your bed. When the okay. That's not one of the but. Yeah, let's not do this. This just is too. Yeah. Peach, banana, banana. I wonder what happens if I peel her up. Your skin is as soft as silk. Oh, gee, thanks. I rub it with cream of some young guy every night. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I see that they're really. This guy I used to date gives it to me in unlabeled jars. He really seems to love it when I smear it all over and rub it in. I don't get it. I think I do. Um, we all heard that, right? Yeah, she is. Your skin is as soft as... Oh, gee, thanks. I rub it with cream of some young guy every night. I don't know what that is. Me either, really. This guy I used to date gives it to me in unlabeled jars. He really seems to love it when I smear it all over and rub it in. Yeah, but that's video poker, not blackjack. I think I do. It's bored enough already with... Yeah, she is quite stupid. Oh, this is Blackjack. That's not one of the buttons that makes the. All right, deal and hit. Uh... Oh yeah, baby. And you have a point. Oh, fuck yeah. That's not one. Stay. That's not one. Oh, God, we are fucking in the money now. Thank you. Good chance. Fuck. Nine or nineteen, I don't get it. That's not one of the buttons. That's the one. I know I should not be fucking save staying, but it's how you're supposed to do this one. Save scummy's the best. Ooh. That's not.
Ace is 1 or 11. I never knew that. I never knew that Ace is 1 or 11. That's not one of. No, I think that's I have enough. Not I think I have enough for now. Whoop. And leave. Now we can just go buy some shit. Hi, Dilly. Oh, there are silver shields and Bob babes. There's one. This the new. I kind of just walked off the fucking thing. Oh. Yeah, baby. Now you know what they mean when they say, two heads are better than one. Keep your hands to yourself, Larry. This isn't supposed to be an interactive display. Oh, it's a very interactive display. Someone has inconsiderately attached this chapel to its foundation. You don't need any of that litter. At least not now. We will eventually. Sick as fuck, but good. The chapel is cool and placid inside. The lilting classical music and softly flickering candles give the room an air of serene, peaceful redundancy. In fact, it absolutely stinks of tranquility in here. Mm. Well, nothing we can do yet. Taxi! Where's the dick? I don't see a dick. Hey, how come you're always alone when you get in my cab? Just drive. Fuck you. You're not alone. Look at all these people who are with us. We have Tarth, we have Bobby Biscuit, we have Silver Shoes, confusing sign to sign of his own ahead. 17 bucks, pal. Yeah, 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 17 bucks. Thanks, kid. Uh, this is the remake of the first game. We have Kaneko. Welcome to the come and go. Let us cater your next trip across state lines. Box and stuff. Where would I get batteries? Is there anything I can ask him about? We keep our birth control devices discreetly hidden behind the counter. If you tap gently on the sign, I will know what you want. This way, our customers need never feel self-conscious or embarrassed. Oh, okay, so that's the, that's the hint. Tap, Let tap, us tap. be discreet about this. I understand you are interested in our birth control devices. Yes, I'd like one of your finest prophylaxatives. We have all manner of lovers for your stooping pleasure. What okay, so it sounds like the most preferring? comfortable lover. It's not rubber, it's a lover. Do we want latex, sheepskin, steel baited, belted radial, or aluminum foil? Which do you think sounds the best? Which sounds the best? Aluminum foil. What length would you like? Standard size, extra small, jumble small, or Vienna sausages. I'm going with Vienna sausage. That sounds perfect. What girth are you requiring? Spaghetti girth. <laughs> banana, African banana, and California redwood. <laughs> yeah, my pecker might be tiny, but it's thick as a California redwood. What texture would you like? Ribbed, dimpled, pockmark, or sharpe? Rib, dimpled, parkmarked, or sharpay. Come on, guys. Sharpay. What full finish would you like? Wood grain, brushed aluminum, snake, snake skin. What excess capacity do you require? We should have an eyedropper, love spoonful, Cincinnati fire hose, or old faithful. What the fuck? What? I'm going with Cincinnati fire hose. Okay, okay, fine, if that's what you want. What sort of lubrication would you like? Spermicidal, fungicidal, caffeinated, caffeinated. What sort of scent would you like? Musk. Pine Fresh Old Library in Chicken Vesuzio. Yeah, yeah, baby. There you go. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This perv just bought a aluminum foil, Vienna sausage, California redwood girth, Sharpe. Snakeskin, all faithful capacity, caffeinated, musk scented lover. What a pervert! 
<sighs> okay, now where are we gonna get some batteries? What? Oh, look at this different enough to avoid lawsuit. A rewarded for getting a good look at the angry bras of <laughs> <laughs> You can't do anything. You can't do anything with this machine. It seems to be stuck in permanent demo mode. <laughs> Try to figure out how to, how to do better. I actually want to win. Yeah, they just did the same thing over and over and over again. You can't do anything with this machine. Assmaster Magazine. I would like a picture of Assmaster Magazine. Look at the great articles in this issue of Biggins. Here's one about how to break into the windows of apartment buildings. What? Here's another about how to make your own perfume. This could be a valuable issue. You briefly scan an issue of Martha Spewart Living. I'd rather not. The ground animal tubes sweat profusely as they spin in their graves. The rack contains a selection of popular candies, such as Wertner's highly questionable lentil toffee, Crunch and Scream Dental Chew, Carnage Patch Kids, and Liquor Made Inappropriately Named Dipping Candy. Okay. Wait just a minute, Mr. Shoplifter. Come over here right this moment. What? <laughs> Whoops. Freeze! My aim is improving. Yay for me! Larry, you've always said that shoplifters deserve to be put out of their misery. God damn it. Yeah, I forgot to. Thank you. Now please oh, leave. Least, there is no loitering. We're for buying condom in the convenience store. So, are there actual air connecting areas now? Your breath is like sewage. Just saying. Thank you. How does your breath fail so fast, ah. Solomon? Get one con. What the fuck? Where's the card? We'll get you into the Lost Way just fine. And thankfully, only disco theaters. Why is there a Jewish guy on there? Why are you taking Peely? Might find it at a toast party or a blimp. Operating the part, line of sight infrared transmission. The remote control bath suit completely. It's part of because it's currently dead. Five blades, seven attachments, three screwdrivers, two saws, a toothpick, and a tweezers, and more. Much, much more. There we go. The bouncer takes the pass and scrutinizes it as closely as his overhanging brow will let him. Hmm. You're Rabbi Cornswig? Um, of course. Okay. Welcome to Club 69. Thank you. Shalom. Yeah, baby. Shalom. Right. Why did I do what? The music in here is loud enough to kill the herpes. The crowd in back is an impenetrable mass of throbbing humanity, but the vibe up front is casual and inviting. Okay. Is that Max? Is that fucking Max, dude? Because that looks like Max, dude. Is it just you, or is there a guy in that cage trying to escape? Is it just you? Hubba hubba! This sweet young thing certainly seems to be enjoying herself. This guy is the definition of living la vida loca. He's got the sexiest babes, the greatest booze, the hottest fashions, everything. Hey dude. Your narrator's got taste. Yeah, you gotta wonder what happened with cats. Why is it such a fucking train wreck? Like, yeah, I even know what it's about.
Hey, leave those alone. I'm returning the empties for the deposit. You can return champagne and bottles empties for deposits? I did not know that. Hi, I'm Taffy. You certainly are. I could chew on you for hours. Yes. <laughs> Yes! Do you girls all know each other? Oh, yes. Ruth and Mary Jane and Cadbury and poor Solana. And where's poor Solana and Figurine? They're in the bathroom together, as usual. <laughs> well, we all know each other intimately. <laughs> Video, or it didn't happen. No worries, Sensei. Video. Or I'm Larry. What's your name, honey? Cadbury. Cadbury? That's an unusual name. Do people ever make fun of it? It's actually my middle name. I stopped using my first name, Veruca. I can't tell you how many times people have come up to me and said, Ooh, do you want a goose? Do you want it now? I don't get it. I don't get it. I really do need to see Cats because I never saw it on Broadway. It's one of the few Broadway plays I never saw as far as I remember. Yeah, baby! Hi! You don't look as good in this picture. I liked you better animated. I use my absolute best line on her. I introduced myself as suavely. She might like if she learned her name. Hey, Toots. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Laffer. Say, Larry, is that a Pez dispenser in your pocket? Or are you just lonely? They're not mutually exclusive. Oh, poor old hunk. <laughs> so, uh, what's your name, beautiful? Fawn. Somehow you knew that. I'd really like to get to know you better, Fawn. Just what kind of girl are you? I'm Crazy. just a girl who can't say no. All right, Larry, this is what you've been waiting for. To nice presents. Oops. Okay, and we want to dance. Okay, let's dance. How about we get out there on the dance floor, fool around a little? And we could dance some, too. I'm not sure, Larry. You see, I like a particular kind of man. And I don't know if you're the particular kind of man who ends up getting a particular kind of woman like me. I'm not sure I follow you. Ooh, she's resisting gently. It's a come on. Keep <laughs> going, Larry. If anybody can screw this up, you can. Yep. Sounds like a gold digger to me. Okay, baby. I'll be back soon. With presents. As you gaze on the diamond, you seem to hear the sound of weepy wedding bells and diesel trucks. Don't get why diesel trucks, but... Ordinarily, I'd be interested in something like that. But we haven't even really been properly introduced yet. Well, fuck you, we have been. Hiya, baby. What say you and I get it on? I'd say she's gold Larry, digger, but she has 49% really of her a -game size. Tonight. Get lost, creep. Hey, sweetheart. What's your sign? Octagonal. As but... in, stop. I like that. You're fast. No, I'm not fast, but I'm worth every minute of the wait. <laughs> Ooh, Larry. Hey, Toots. Say, Larry, is that a Pez dispenser? They're not mute. So, uh, fawn. Somehow. I'm just a girl who can't say no. All right, Larry, this is what's a nice presence. Oops. Okay, baby, I'll be back soon with presents. Here, do you want the ring? Ordinarily. I yeah, well, let's leave the gold digger over behind. It's been a while. Nothing this way. We'll leave Maxwell Dude up there. That does look like Maxwell Dude. I think it does anyway. Enjoy your evening, sir. He's overcome with sorrow at your departure. He's not saying it in words so much, but you can really tell from his expression. I thought he was just trying to not pop those back seats. Taxi! Overdoses of steroids. <laughs> you know, the amazing nothing's a back knee. Back knee's amazing. You I tried the roast, the same thing. Oh, Sal and Dispatch must be playing a nasty trick on me. All right, where are we going to find some battery? Oh, let's go back to the Caesar's Towers. Breaks are for sissies. Yes. I don't think a woman wants hot sauce. That'll be an even 20. 
Thanks, kid. Yes, he did. You step into the elevator. Nice decorations. Holy crap, look at them. There's no answer and the door is locked. This service phone only reaches numbers inside the hotel, and there's nobody here that you need to call. There's a lot of anti-Semitism. I heard there's a huge problem with it right now in New York City, too. It's kind of terrifying. Keep your voice down, Sarah. Nobody will know we're here. That better be the cameraman. I got places to be. Being weird. Don't get it. I'm so close. <laughs> yes, I am so close. Come back in an hour. An hour? We'll be done in three minutes. There's no answer, Larry. Apparently, the honeymoon suite is vacant right now. They're here. Why did we have a poltergeist reference? Oops. Richard, I'm so sorry. I dropped the gerbil. Get it out! Get it out! Did I just hear gerbil? Quick! Flush it! Flush it! Here, take this too! Maxwell Dude is another streamer who's not live right now, but he does fighting games. He looks exactly like the guy caught in the cage. Oh god, Ed! Get in the closet! It's my husband! Not a bad hotel. Oh God, Ed, get in the closet. It's I thought Poltergeist was the seventies. Yeah, Maximilian dude. Come back later. Look, I've been waiting for an hour, and that thing's not getting any harder. Rain. All I know is the chicken I scene makes me sick every time I see the movie. Poltergeist is actually rather freaking well set up. I just want to hear all the jokes. I feel so safe doing it with a real live detective. Sorry. If dropping off the basket and the straps, just leave them outside. Thank you. make you scream over and over first by taking you like you've never been taken before oh. okay who wants to make me scream over and over besides melody it's not a good time oh please darling i can't get them both in my mouth at once what No, it, Allison. Just tell me more about that one time at the band camp. Just tell me one more time at the band camp. Hey, Scott. The girls are here. Oh, Bruce! Oh, Howard! Oh, Carrie! Oh, Carrie! Um. No, no, no. Don't get out your magnificent style. Stand. Yeah, baby. What? What did I get the points for? Whoa, fat. 
schmancy, schmancy. This must be the entrance for the high roller suites. And who's that behind the counter? Does she come here often? Can she date hotel residents? What She's if awesome. I love that outfit. Now that's a police outfit. Somebody screenshot that. Hell yeah. Hey, girl. You cleverly make eye contact with Faith before talking to her. Yeah, baby. Oh my god, yes. Hello? I love bare arms. Yes, it's one of our most important rats. I love bare arms. Yes, it's one of our most important rats. Grabbing an armed guard? Yeah. Larry, you're just dying to be slammed to the floor, straddled, pinned, and roughed up, aren't you? Yes. Kinda. Whoa, face play is a fifth or sixth date kind of thing. Look out, those things are loaded. Hey. <laughs> I lick them. Her scent evokes an atmosphere of sexy danger. It reminds you of those sweaty, overheated nights at Lookout Point in the back seat of your father's car, trying to convince someone to come on in and make it a twosome. <laughs> oh, God damn. Yeah, that's just terrifying. There's nothing on the man. I want a vacuum that never loses suction. What? You stick your arm in the ashtray to look for useful stuff. You find nothing in there except used tissues, globs of sticky, partially gelled liquid, and smoldering cigarette butts. All right. So where can I get some batteries? That's the quick question. We get the batteries, we can move on in the game quite a bit. I do like how they've added more women, though. Oh my god! I think I'm in love. We tried the come and go. There's no batteries to the come and go. I think you have to find the batteries. And I know this this actually adds an extra section That's to the not game. One of the... That wasn't in the other game. What does the double down, split, and surrender do, anyways? That's not one of the... <coughs> How do you know this? Fail. Oh. That's not one of the... That's not what you get bad. That's not one of the buttons that may really wish there's a faster way to do this, but hey, we got 600 bucks. Let's fucking leave. Yeah, forfeit. I can see. We've done all of them.
Where am I taking you now? Where to go? We've got to come and go. No batteries. We're on 69. There's a little bit more to do with lefties. Nothing in the wedding channel just yet. And that'll be 22 bucks, Mac. Unless there's an area I'm absolutely missing. Thanks, kid. What's up? Cuddle the Orion, everybody. Cuddle the Orion. You poke through the garbage cans looking for anything that could help you get the girls. Look! It's a can of the same breath spray I use. And it's full. Oh God. Why would anyone throw out a full container of breath spray? Does it make sense? You throw out your existing half-empty oh, can and replace it with the full one from the garbage. Cause hey, free breath spray. Yep, you rummage around in the dumpster. Hmm, <coughs> that's good shrimp. Ew! What? If you want to see anything in that window, you'll have to find a different vantage point. You don't have to say that. It's you just rap up. loudly on the Naga High door. Yeah. Yeah. What's the password? Sex machine. Password is money. You read off the. Uh, Ken sent. The cabinet is locked. There's a cabinet filled with a wide variety of sex toys, no doubt for the use of customers. The cabinet appears to be locked tight with a combination lock. Let me up there. Not as long as prodigious bees standing here. You're already in the... It leads... Eh, we can buy some drinks. Let's buy a fucking round for the house. Because I want to. Have a seat at the... Keep your hands up. Keep your hand. Hello? What will it be? First off, let's get around. Hey everybody, yeah. here comes around from the last of the big time spenders. You pop $90 out on the bar in another unsuccessful attempt <coughs> to buy friendship. Unsuccessful, my ass. We win. Hello? What will it be? What would be stiff? Is whiskey or vodka stiff? Oh, wait, I know what it is. I'll have a glass of your fine well whiskey. That'll be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. You don't drink the whiskey, but instead decide to carry it with you wherever you go. I forgot. The that you guys do that balanced in an open shot glass. Yeah, she remind me what I have to do now. Give whiskey to this guy right here because his lumbago's acting up. Ah, I hit the spot. You know, you must be my only friend in the whole world. So uh, I'm gonna give you my only possess, my only possess, all I got in the world. Besides, what's a guy like me need with a coaster? I mean, what am I, high society? Yes. Yeah, baby. Yes, you are. Oh, spit a penny vandies, okay. Seven two seven twenty-four forty-six. Alright, you got the code. I gotta do this shit all you give your got my wallet, got my breath, come and get me. You rap loudly on the Naga High door. The Cario girls are cute. Yeah. Cario's are cute in general. What's the password? I really have to give you the password every time, but you've seen me enough times. You read off the strange password you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me?
Bingo! You use the combination on the coaster to quietly unlock the cabinet. You dispose of the evidence by tossing the coaster behind the cabinet, where it's unlikely to be found for thousands of years. I'll Wait. never forget that number. It's burned into my memory, I think. Wait, what was it? Four something, right? I don't even know what it was. Does anyone remember it? Nope. Yes. Score one battery-operated, sleek, slightly sticky personal massager. Yeah, baby. There are no other toys you're interested in taking from the cabinet. I want the ball They're gag! They're either too complicated, too scary, or require too much gymnastic ability. I want the butt plugs! I want the handcuffs! I want what? Oh, <laughs> 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 The gas of Mastic 2000 is stuck in auto vibrates, so it vibrates whenever it senses pressure. You try to open the battery carrier, but it's too hard to open. It doesn't have much left in it. It doesn't waste it. Don't waste it on the vibrator. That doesn't have much left in it. Don't waste it on the ring. Real gem and it's solid. There must be something good, to, uh, really good glue on it. Oh god damn it. The vibrator and the auto whoop and the extra pizzazz for today's on the go woman. And they name things 2000 because it's so far away. Larry will be an old man by then and everything he does will be extra creepy. Fuck you. If it opens a little more careful, it open, uh, if it opens, you might not be able to get it closed again. You pop the very compartment open, a disgusting mess of goop and hair shoots out of the pressure and overflows. You take the batteries out for, oh god damn it. Energizer. You feel strong and surging with energy. Even if they're off there, the remote wouldn't work on anything that you're carrying. Open the back of the rope, pull out the dead batteries, and toss them in the sharp eyed gamer. We'll never find them in. Yeah, baby! You slip the energizer batteries in the energizer batteries in the place and close up the viola. 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 Voila. The wood floor. The walls look like they were last papered in the early 60s, and the woodwork is termite ridden and creaky. Really, termites were such a problem in Vegas. Oh, wait, it's because it's, it's dry, so probably. You aim yeah, the remote baby. at the TV and push the power button. Don't make me wistful. You wouldn't like me when I'm wistful. You've managed to turn on the TV. You've caught Prodigious P's attention, but he doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Hey, don't touch your knob. We'll be back in two and two. Another boring game show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. They're actual litigants with a case pending in California Municipal Court. Another boring, real-life white trash catfight show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. And thank you for your support. You've been a brick through this whole that thing. That sounds like Another grist. boring commercial for wine coolers. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. What you talking about, Willis? Another boring sitcom. <laughs> Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave that was? his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Please have your pet spayed, neutered, or both, just to be safe. Another boring appeal to common decency. Prodigious P I like the fact that you have to constantly do this until you find the right channel. To leave his post by the stairs. You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. I love this razor so much, I bought the company. And this railroad. And two United States citizens. Hey, Rob Paulson, what's Another up? Another boring infomercial. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Yes! Yes! Pull it out a little deeper! Huh? All right. But this is wrong. For God's sakes, I am your accountant! Then give it to me 32% harder. Jesus Christ. 
Dude, you're a pimp. Why are you so astounded with porn like this? It's a good thing that you did that, Larry. A very good thing. You sort of wished him into the porn field, didn't you? You carefully yes. sneak the remote into Prodigious P's pocket, since you won't be needing it anymore. He gets her career in progr uh, programming executive, awarded for hypnotizing the pimp for the future of the television. With Prodigious P presently preoccupied, you're able to proceed. This oh. must be the place. Just so you know, if you're into Peking duck play, I need 24 hours advance notice. Ew. So, let's just do it right. Let's just, just fuck it up first. Just... Hey, I'm not in the rough trade. Do you wanna get busy? You can start by taking off your clothes. You quickly check your fly by zipping it up. Zips up, zips down in an instant for easy access. <laughs> yeah, baby. You strip off your jacket. You strip off the rest of your clothes. Sorry, I'm doing this the bad way, so I die. You hop into bed with the hook. See if I get an achievement for dying. Ooh. Yes, yes. No. Although successful, you feel less sex in the 80s, Larry. Seriously, speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason, the thrill just wasn't there. And now Either get dressed again or get down to business. You put all your clothes back on. Is he not wearing any underwear, or do you just quickly ignore it? You open the window and climb out onto the fire escape. They're on the other side of that... Say, you might have a new career in dumpster diving. Yay! Look at this! You pop up with one perfectly good hammer with just a little bit of mystery goo on the handle. Yeah, baby! Dumpster driving, Koi the Ward for retrieving the hammer by falling in the dump fire escape. So, how long till we die? The twinge grows into a pang. The pang grows into a pain in the wang. Then there's this what? slightly bursting and dying sensation. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to go out in the rain without wearing your lubbers? The lady upstairs is a human petri dish. Dun dun dun. Yep, here we go! Finally! <laughs> uh oh, that's Bear, the dog. In Lost Wages, Bear is famous for getting off his leash and spreading sunshine wherever he goes. If you act in a non threatening manner long enough, maybe he'll come over and say hi sometime. All right, let's let him say hi. You bring a fresh and white leader suit and he awarded for dogging peeing on you. Aw, oh, that's bear. Always spreading sunshine. We go do it legitimately now. You rap loudly on the Nagahai door. Yeah? What's the password?
So they don't you permanently kill you anymore. You read off the strange password you discovered. Seriously, why are you so astounded by porn? Even as a kid, I wasn't that astounded by porn. I was astounded by it. I mean, yeah, but... Let's do this legitimately. By sticking out a... Okay, walk over here. First, pick up things in the room. Like the candy. You start to pick up the candy. What are you doing with that? I'm sorry. Did you want it? Sure, I wanted it. That's my candy. Are you sure? It might help me find true love. Well... I am a sucker for true love. Sure, what the heck. Take it. Take it and go find yourself some true love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mazel tov. Yeah, baby! You take a tiny chip of paint out of the wall, exposing another millimeter of lath. Of oh, lath? What is lath? Leaving the hooker without her silky undergarments? Those don't look what silky. a cad. Which stands for Computer Aided Dork. Yes, I am a computer-aided dork. Most of us are. Okay, we're looking at hot sauce. You strip off your jacket. You strip off the rest of your clothes. Ah. Uh, I did not know that. I don't need any. You carefully yeah, guide the condom onto your tumescent thing, though, little Larry. Smart man, now bundle, get cracking. We're having sex with the hooker. Once more under the breach. Ooh. Yes, yes. No. Uh, well, yeah, that was better, honey. You passed At least this sure time, we didn't have all the vining and, and the crying and the fussing. Oh, God, all the questions. But it didn't feel fulfilling. Yeah, I hear you. I didn't feel filled either. I think it has to be with someone I love, who loves me. I vow to continue my you quest until I please my heart, not just my other organs. Great. That'll give me a break. <laughs> yeah, here's one to all the hookers out there who take one for all the women and men who just... You can't get yeah, smart thinking, Larry. You just saved yourself a lot of public embarrassment. You put all your clothes back on. Hands off. You're just mad because you can't have more of these. Uh-huh. Did you even put the cigarette out while we were in together? Like, seriously? Like, when Mao's dick deep inside you? So how do I They're on the other side of that closed window. You'll have to find a way to get down to them. How about... That was bound to fail. As your life drains away, your final thought is, why does the street taste like my duodenum? Next time, maybe you need to find a way to prevent yourself from hitting the ground. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I think I got that. That's not gonna be that hard. We're gonna need a rope. Trying your luck again, Larry? Yes. Yeah. But this time you come up empty handed. There's the apple dude. We don't need him right now. Uh, even though it scored an 828 percentile in your high school ma ma mechanical aptitude, you're fairly certain this is a hammer. Five blades, seven attachments, okay? Candy makes the perfect present, even though this box has been already a little picked over and the hooker apparently only ate the nuts. Oh, god damn it. It's a tasteless Dave's butt, a butt burner. A hot sauce that's twice as fiery coming out as it goes in. That doesn't sound too appetizing now, does it? Does anyone agree that that does not apples, sound Apples! Apples! Okay, let's see if we can find a spot to get. Something rope-like. You try to pull up. This fan is old, broken, and pathetic. This game has a lot of fans like that. Hey, fuck off! Oh, hey, can we go back there? It's totally out of reach, which is just as well. Lefty isn't insured. This door is permanently nailed shut. 
You'll just have to wait for a sequel to find out what's behind it. We can always do the other really, po the really, really pornographic one after this. You know what I'm talking about. Here, kitty, kitty. You'll have to get close. You peer inside the storm drain. There's nothing inside it worth fishing out. Well, that sucked. Taxi! Hey, back the taxi. <laughs> you think so, Silver you Shields? You rap loudly on the Naga High door. Yeah? What's the password? I'm actually kind of curious if he's right, because it's been so long that I you forgot. You read off the st- uh. So why is there- oh, I get it. It's a shaven beaver. I get it. I'm an idiot. You take a tiny chip of paint, leaving the hooker without her silky undergarments? What a cad. Which- Yeah, that's not gonna work. Remember this room in the next game where I get my ass rammed in by a you unicorn yank mask? On the fire You're not posting that picture. This is getting. Taxi! No, we don't. I think you guys have actually made a that video. Please, your stone ask. Where we had, where we had, where we had. I think Caesar's Phallus sounds good. Come and go. Might have something. 69. May. Don't we have that as a clip? Someone had. There's a Scrunicorn clip. It'll I swear be 16 to God. 16 bucks, please. Thanks, kid. There's a bunch of achievements I'm missing, so I kind of want to grab them all in the game tonight. It's not that hard of a game, so. I forgot the name, Scrunicorn, to be honest. Welcome back to Chef Jeff's American Tavern Bar and Grill with the world's smallest sneeze guard. You've already found the only exciting item there is to find here, but feel free to browse. And count yourself lucky that you're not hungry. Goddammit, can't we, can't we, can't we. I hate you all. We'll be doing the Nightmare Before Christmas after we're done this. A few months later, oh thank God, a human being. Come, join us. How you doing tonight? Okay. All right, I didn't want your whole life story. Thank you. Wow, there's a show going. Larry, keep your voice down. Wow. There's a show going! Where was oh, I? God damn it. A few months later, the drunk staggers in again, picks up three darts, and makes three bullseyes again. He says, I got three in a row again. What do I win this time? The bartender only vaguely remembers the whole thing and says, I, I don't know. What did I give you last time? And the drunk says, last time you gave me a roast beef on a hard roll. Dude, don't laugh at that. There was this guy who got drunk so much he lost his job at the butcher shop for putting his organ in the deli slicer. They said, what did you do that for? He said, hey, she came on to me. Hey, screw you, that was funny. That's got to do it for me for now. I'll be back. Thank you, Chaz Rockamundo on the drums, everybody. We've got Tracy Von Felcher coming right up. Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes we give our hearts away too easily. I don't know who wrote the music and lyrics for this song, but whoever they are, yeah. they're not getting paid nearly enough. So I'm dedicating this song to a She's gorgeous and she sings like a filthy angel. What more could any man want? Do I have to get with her? Sweetheart, our flight of passion had a your generous offer of a beautiful rose nets you one raised eyebrow, nothing more. 
Apparently, this person isn't into botany. Nobody seems the least bit interested in this candy. You will never get her, Larry. She's totally in love with her agent slash bodyguard slash chauffeur. Well, that kind of thing always has a happy ending. <laughs> yes, Von Fletcher. Shit, 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 shit. Let's see if there's anything this way. A sense of foreboding washes over your heart when your eyes slowly examine this dark alley. It seems to be just outside every public area in Lost Wages. Cast no! great pal, but. Take yourself a lover and not a fighter. <laughs> We're being beaten up by the mother. Larry, didn't your mother ever warn you about going into dark alleys? Yes. I didn't lose my money, did I? <coughs> Careful, Larry. That succubus is not to be trusted. I don't know what a succubus is, but it sounds fantastic. Agreed. Hi, guys. God damn it. Larry, didn't your mother... Just so you know, it smells like something died in your mouth. Do you have to do that every time? Ah! Never said why they have you do that regularly. The ribbons have been attached to the pews with a power stapler and mucilage. You'd ruin them if you tried to take them. You're not making any speeches today. They've been welded to the... Well, let's go talk to the gold digger. We might have enough to do something with her. Apples! Apples! Taxi! Where'll it be, pal? Back to the 69 and Guano Bell. Because Guano Bell, baby. The damage is $18, buddy. It's all. Thanks, kid. You think they should make that automatic so that we don't have to do this every fucking time? Pass, please. This club looks like a really swinging place. How's yes. about letting me in? Show me your pass. I'm not sure I have one. Nobody gets in without a pass. Those are the rules. Move along. Don't make me tell you again. Thank you for leaving. The bouncer. T hmm. Your rabbi. Um. Okay. Welcome to Club 69. Thank you. Shalom. Who's dumb enough to fuck me? Half this channel's dumb enough right to fuck way. me. Wait, what? Just kidding around here. That's a bad joke. I like her a lot. She's just adorable. That is. So, uh, what are you doing for the rest of your life? Well, See, that's first Maximilian I dude. figured I'd stay here till we shut the place down. Then I'm going home with Adam. <laughs> I mean, Derek and the girls. Tomorrow, I'll have some yes, meals I would and do some shopping. All the the day after that, I'm going to have some more meals and call my mother and do my nails and maybe wash my hair. And the day after that... Oh, my God. Kill me now. <laughs> Nobody waves back. Let's go talk to her. Ow. You sure do know how to pinch a girl, Larry. Hey, who here wouldn't sleep with Larry Laffer? Right. I 
I'd really like... I'm just a girl who can't say no. All right, Larry, this is what you've been waiting for. To nice presents. Oops. How about we get out there on the dance floor, fool around a little, and we could dance some, too. I'm not sure, Larry. You see, I like a particular kind of man. And I don't know if you're the particular kind of man who ends up getting a particular kind of woman like me. I'm not sure I follow you. Ooh, she's resisting gently. It's a come on. Keep going, Larry. If anybody can screw this up, you can. I love the announcer, but Tom Kane did it so much better. What if I take you away from here, Fawn? To someplace quiet. We could go to my place. Assuming you had a place. That sounds fun. Just as long as you're not cheap. I prefer men with means. Means? What kind of means? I like what any woman likes, Larry. I like flowers. I like sweets. I like jewelry. Can you get me those things, Larry? Can you get me everything? Oh, I should have talked to, to ask that question first. The let's leave. I thought the let's leave icon was me I'm leaving. I'm totally ready to give you everything you've always dreamed of. Everything? And more. You see, I'll do anything for the right man, Larry. Anything. Are you the right man, Larry? Are you going to be the right man for me tonight? Oh, my. She certainly has you standing at attention. Could Fawn be the one, Larry? Your one-way ticket to fulfillment? Okay, baby, I'll be back soon with presents. Okay, let's see. Most women don't like it when strange men hide strange stuff in their hair. She doesn't seem to want that. Oh, yeah, Larry, baby. I just love diamonds. See, now she knows what she wants. Oh, yeah, Larry, baby. I just love roses. See, we had everything, we just did it in the wrong oh, order. Yeah, baby. I just love candy. I love that top. Oh, wait, it's a full Oh, dress. Larry, I just love your presence. Dance with me, you adorable fool. Ah! <laughs> uh, 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 stay in love. No, he doesn't seem that bad for a nerdy little dork. See? And the crowd goes wild. Larry, that was incredible. I've never done that with a man before. It was so exhilarating. Are you as turned on as I am? Always. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope. Then my answer is yes. Oh, God, yes! Yes, Larry, I will. You will what? Why, marry you, of course. After all, I could never be with a man who wasn't my husband. Well, fuck you. Only if we were together in the eyes of the entire world could I really give myself to you completely, utterly, heart, soul, and body. I'll also need $200 to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Phallus. I'll wait for you here. Once you've got the money, we'll rush over to the wedding ready. And at long last, we can be husband and wife. Holy cow, Larry. It looks like your dreams are about to come true. Yeah, Hell yeah. Who knew? She was so sweet. Awarded a dance of fun Studio 69. Fine, here's the money. Take it. You give Fawn your wallet. All right. $200. Thank you, my sweet. I'm going to the casino oh, right now to reserve make the money honeymoon this way, suite at Caesars. Make a living. Then I'll meet you at the wedding ready are. next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. I will be. Fawn hands you back your wallet, $200 lighter, and rushes off. Congratulations, Larry. You're one step closer to connubial bliss. Yeah, baby. Yeah, but you just met her. You don't know if you love her or not. Love takes time, effort, and head pats. Lots of head pads. Enjoy your evening, sir or madam. I am obviously a madam. Look at this physique. 
Look at these gigantic full titties. Look at this magnificent camel toe. I am obviously a man. Of yeah, see, head pats. So true love takes love, understanding time and head pats. I hate you all. Sorry, you've made me do this. There you go. For dad, that is just for Daz. Tune in to 1060 for some white noise. Tab off. And that'll be 20. It's old now. Thanks, kid. Fawn is standing at the ready at the end of the room. Next to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. We do have one little thing to take care of, though. It's $100 for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. The decorations are extra? If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, no decorations? No, no, leave them up. I'll, I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. After He's all, how often does a man who isn't Larry King get married? Ah, uh, luckily this can be annulled instantly. You've got the money! Of course I do, sweetheart. I was just... Never mind. I'll give it to him. Here you go, Jimmy Ted. One hundred dollars. Hot there it is. Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Final. <coughs> you all settle into basic position. A hush falls over the players at home. Merely beloved. Stay here. Sorry, let me restart that. Merely beloved. Jim. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. You know how I get. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this main and this woman. Blah, 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 blah. Do you, Lance Lassiter, take this woman? It's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? I thought you said... Just go. Do you, Larry, Larry Laffer, take this woman? Blah, blah. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I... I do. Do you phone Forschwanger? Forschwanger? Take this man to be, to be your blah 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 honor and comfort and bail. Why is this hilarious? I, I mean, I do. You've got the ring. I have to have another ring? No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then by the power invested in me, Jimmy Ted hereby declares you done and done. Congratulations. Congratulations, Pleasure Jimmy Ted. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time again. <laughs> Employees only. I'm sure y'all understand. Fuck you. Fawn throws her arms around you and almost kisses you. Oh, Larry. Isn't it romantic? I wish What's they would actually show about? her throwing her arms around. Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon suite, Larry. Ready to give you my all. My everything my very soul don't keep me waiting i can't wait to take advantage of you she's not done with that yet well congratulations larry you're fast. a married man shores engagement in history in record war for marrying fun time chapel. to get over to the honeymoon suite and hang a sign on the door gone consummating why are you walking so slow girl What you doing? Just hanging out. <laughs> you gonna stand there all night? Yeah, I'll stick it out as long as I can. That can't be easy. Well, it's not as hard as it looks. Yeah. What you doing? Just hanging out. Keep your hands to yourself, Larry. This isn't supposed yes, to be do. an interactive display. Keep your hands... Now you know what they mean when they say, Two heads are better than one. Now you know... Let's do it together. I'll see yours, and I'll raise you both of mine. I'll see... Quit sniffing at me, you prevert. Quit sniff... That's pervert, you dumbass. 
Hey, Echo Loco, how you doing? Apples! Alright guys, I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom and grab another drink. Because if you notice the coughing, it keeps my throat really dry and agitated. So I'll be back as fast as fucking possible. So give me a quick second.
Supple Echo, how you doing? Well, glad to know that you can't literally fuck up anymore except for the money. Sure is, baby. Come on in. I'm ready for you. Yeah, baby! Ha ha ha. You walk into the honeymoon suite. What are the Your blushing people? bride is waiting for you. And the pink Hello, cactus. Larry. You're here at last. Well, forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. Excellent! Judging by the hot dog and the donut in the background, things are about to get violently American in here. Like, violently American food porn. Larry, we're married now. No more talk. No more dancing. It's time for you and me to consummate. I just need some music or something. You know, let's make the mood even more perfect. Technically, that's not possible. Shut up. I mean, don't be that way, oopsie poopsie. Fine, music. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. Jeez, why can't they make a radio that gets stations at all these little numbers? <laughs> God damn it. We'll be back to our commercial free four hour Barbara Streisand marathon no! after this commercial message. I don't understand that. How many times has this happened to you? You've just gotten I agree with that one. You forgot to get the perfect bottle we'll of We'll return to our commercial honeymoon. free marathon after, after this commercial. To what? their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. Don't settle for trashy boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all and you'll end up in a fiery crash. Don't let that happen to you. Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere, anytime, in five minutes or less. How do we do it? That's what I'd like to know. Simple. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. That doesn't answer the question. So call now, 555-8039. That's 555-8039. Liquor quick with snappy liquors. And now, back to more Barbara. Fawn turns off the radio. I thought you wanted music. Larry, wine would be even better than music. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Please? It'll make everything absolutely perfect for our, you know, canubial joining. That's the so romantic. Right away, dearest. Yeah, Why are there no pillows on the bed? You run your finger over the wall. How nice. It's been dusted for your protection. Not now, Larry. I need wine. Yeah, I could be in line. Let's you give yourself a quick pat down. Got my wallet, got my breast spray, and I'm filled with vitamin Larry. It's about to get Come vitamin, get vitamin, me, vitamin American here. The diver holds her nose and points to your mouth. Wow, Larry, your bad breath is even penetrating the aquarium walls. That's not good. Lipsterine. Oh, God damn it. Isn't there a ah. small bit of alcohol in that shit, too, in the back dean? So yeah, let's do that. Let's see that crit. Where you going? Who wants to see the car crash? I want to see it. Mita says... Thanks, kid. I'm gonna get as much wine. I don't drink, though. I've, I've actually wondered what if there's actual... What wine actually tastes like if it's any good. I think I've had Carbonate once, and it was just kind of burning, so hey. Welcome to the come and go, 
where you'll never find milk for more. Where you'll never find milk for more. You've gotten as much use out of these wine boxes as you can. Oh. You've got... So we're not allowed to buy another one and try driving with it. 8309, right? I'm sorry, but you have reached a number that is disconnected or no longer in service. I'm what sorry, was the number? You have reached a number that is disconnected. This is a recording. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. You peer down the storm drain. All you can see is a key. Is it 8309 or the other one? Oh, 8039, I did it wrong. Yeah, baby! Hello, Snappy Liquor Delivery. We deliver liquor in a snapper. Yes, I to just heard your ad on the radio, and I'd like to purchase some fine wine. Where do you want it delivered? The Honeymoon Suite at Caesar's Phallus, please. And step on it. All of our fine wines have been stepped on, sir. That's but why they're fine. Oh, very sophisticated. And... Your order has been processed. We'll send one of our hottest young men immediately. Thanks for calling. What? What did he mean, hottest? What? Wait, what? What the was that? The metal plate is not touch sensitive. You're already you. I don't want you to send your hottest man. Send your cutest go. Send your cutest Gogan. Come on, we know you want that. Taxi. Maybe there'd be a faster teleporter right here instead of this one. Woo! You've got Pekingese written all over you. You again? Where to this time? Caesar's Palace. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your second controller is? Yes, it's in my pants. It's set to Rumble Bundle. And that'll be 22 bucks, Mac. Thanks, kid. Yes, I know. Come on in. I'm ready for you. Oh, Larry, it's you. <laughs> I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. You already hmm. fucking like an animal. What does she mean by that? Oh, well, you decide to let it pass. After all, this is your wedding night. <laughs> he seems to know what exactly. Where'd he pull those out of? Where were you hiding those, Larry? You know, he actually is kind of suave when he wants For to. For you. Enchanté. Here's to us. Here's to you, Larry. And it's all destroyed. right, Larry. The stars have aligned. Love is all around. Life's sweetest reward. The sun is gonna surely shine. Now use those three words every young woman in love longs to hear. How about yeah, now? Baby. Yes, sir. How about now? This <laughs> is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Goody! Are you relaxed, my love? Yes! Are you ready for me? Yes! Oh, yes! Then. Let's get ready to rumble! What? 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 Not? Struggle? Get out of the way! You're a slippery little thing, aren't you? 
what happened? Whew. That was great for me. How was it for you? Uh, is that it? That's it. Thanks for everything, Lance. It's Larry. Thanks for the ring, the candy, the money, the this, the that, the contents of your wallet. You did forget to pay me for the wine. Oh. I left you a few bucks. I'm not totally heartless. Just mostly. You're and thanks hot. for the wine and... Oops, <laughs> you got me monologuing. See you later, sucker. Fawn, sweetheart, you got me unless monologuing. a man would be torn to shreds by this turn of events. But not you, Larry. You've got optimism. You've got resilience. You've got to find a way out of here. You know, I'm wondering something. This late in the game. Music only. Oh. Uh I didn't. I should have turned on subtitles a while ago. Aha. Uh -huh. Very yeah, clever, Larry. You managed to work your knife way out of pants and use it to slice the bungee. Is he looking shorter than usual? Well done, Larry. You're free. You quickly dress. Now you're feeling ready to go back out and conquer the world again. The cheap knife broke in the process, so you dispose of it as any responsible gamer would do. Which means what? Leave the bucket where it is. It's cold, wet, and heavy. One glass is enough, Larry. You want to be able to function, don't you? Oh, man, I can't use that. I was hoping to just take the liquor with me, because we all need liquor. Do we liquor and how? Hey, what? Yeah, baby. Oh, we got the achievement for seeing the end of her act. I'm Jeff Shitzfeld. Welcome back, sir. Sit anyway. As I was saying. I'm Jeff Schitzfeld. It's an honor to be with all of you. Schitzfeld. If I see me, will all guests with venereal disease please leave the room? Fuck Goodbye, you. sir. Was he talking to me? Can I yeah. Yes, we have multiple venereal diseases. Multiple. What money did she leave me? Five bucks. That's not what... Oh, yeah. I mean, another one of those nights, isn't it? That's... That's not... Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Don't save. They expected you to do this. Give it this. That's not what. This guy really needs a quick load button. No, just like up here, like load, save. That's not. They just want me to die, don't they? That's not. Imagine being able to do this, just like, bam, 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 bam. Just like, okay, just gonna reload here, and then try again, reload here, try again. Can you actually do that with the video blackjack poker machine? That's not... that... Because as I said, what I was trying to get at earlier is that I've heard that there's actual a tick machine in the back of slot machines. That, uh the wheel every time you pull it it has a tick and if it hits the right tick that means you're going to get a win but that's very very rare it's pretty it's basically all set pre-set up there's no chance when it comes to that well the only chance is is did you pull the lever when it was on a tick or not right What I mean is, yeah, if you could restart it, it would actually be pretty cool. It's not as random as this is. That's not...
But I'm talk when I'm talking about the tick thing is from the original slot machines. What? That's not That's not Yeah, 160, not bad, not bad at all. That's not... Okay, we're leaving. We are leaving. With that amount of money in our pocket, I can pay off my bills for the month. Hell yeah. Now let's go get that delicious, delicious aphrodisiac. Taxi! What, are you my only customer tonight? Complaining? Dude, I'm paying your fucking kids through college. If you have kids. Buffy Road, next 12 years. That's that's true. The damage is $18, buddy. Thanks, kid. I like how there is a single white of either a ring or a fucking condom. Lefty's door is completely impervious to you. You rap loudly on the Nagahai door. Yeah. Password is password. You read off the string. Uh. Dude, you are obsessed with that porn. Absolutely obsessed with that porn. It better be good. Getting to be a habit yeah. with you. Yeah, that was absolutely my fault for not grabbing Taxi. that rope. Don't think I have to worry about money at all. Man, we did. Man how long have I been in Las Vegas? All right. Seriously, I've always wanted to go to Vegas. Thanks, kid. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars. That's perfect for walking around money. Actually, that's perfect for rocking around getting mugged money. The best part about this game is they added a scenario. She's gone, Larry, but you paid for the room, so go on in. I really do miss Con Con Tom King. You dispose of the cord you cut through and save the other three for some sort of demented shenanigans. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Wait, she used bungee cords? Nice. It's the game. Also, if anyone wants to send us some Lysol, like some spray in the air antibacterial Lysol, that would be wonderful. I think that would actually help us get feel better. I don't know why I brought that up. I just thought of that right now. Taxi! Is this road one way? Because that's what it feels like. All right. 
The cab. Thanks, kid. Dun, 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 dun. You rap loudly on the Nogahai door. Dude, you know me. You I'm the one who gave you that awesome porn connection. Why'd you break up with Nogahai this? They're on the up. It would be nice. You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. Whoopee! No. No. In diving terminology, that's called a fatal s- As you get comfortable for your it- Next time, try attaching a bungee cord to the fire escape and- Well, I was trying that. You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. You detach the bungee cord from the fire escape. You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. It's you, Lem. You hook the other end of the bungee cord right, to your belt loop. What could possibly go wrong with this arrangement? And a hammer. With the bungee attached, you hurl yourself off the fire escape. Geronimo! <laughs> your equipment was way too long. Ever think you'd have that problem? As light yes. ebbs from you, your bodies and then light. Oh, that was a new error. It's short, it's short, it's long. You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. You hook the other end of the bungee cord to your belt loop. I'm feeling good about this. I didn't... I didn't... I don't remember this from the original game, this little puzzle. With the bungee attached, you hurl yourself off the fire escape. Gotcha, baby! Congratulations on the Brave Adventure. You have graduated from full scale breaking and entering. To full... Ah, uh, get the pills from the left easy. Yeah. Ta-da! And the judges give it a 10. You accidentally lost the hammer in the window, but that's okay. You won't need it anymore. You got the pills. You unhook yourself from the bungee cords and dispose of them in the dumpster below. You won't need them anymore either. Oh, good. Despite, what is Spanish fly anyways? Oh, Spanish fly's pills made from the finest ground blister beetles of all of Europe. Blister beetles. This is good. Don't make me play Re Leisure Suit Larry 6 again, where you actually have shit like that. See? Where to get all the nudie hidden files, you have to spike the drinks and crap and pet the beaver. It shouldn't we be on a, you know, a first name basis by now? Actually, yes, I think we should. I'm gonna need, uh, 24 bucks, bud. Thanks, that kid. Yet. So, did you hear about the other one? The Wet Dreams Don't Die? They got in trouble for the actual part where the uh, bird shits in the drink because they call that poisoning someone's drink. I'm just like, come on! Lady, gotta get for you. You hand over the Spanish fly. What's this? Recreational drugs? She opens the bottle and examines the pills. Oh god. This looks like the real stuff. She pops one of the pills. Oh yes. I can feel it working. I feel so warm and tingly inside. So ready. Whoa. So anxious. 
I don't know how much longer I can help myself. This is just what I need to put me in the mood. Thank you. Are you ready? I sure am. Job be damned, I need it. And I need it now. I'm going home and giving one of these to my boyfriend. We're gonna tear up the sheets. Thanks again. These are great. Oh well, there are millions of fish in the sea, Larry. Yeah, but she had something special. Live ammo. Yes, yes she did. This button won't depress. There's a little keyhole nearby, so apparently this button is in locked position. Forget about it, Larry. You'll never get in there. You button? press the button, and the penthouse elevator door slides open. Aha! Progress! Yeah, baby! Are we at the end already? You travel a short distance up in the elevator, down a hall, into another elevator, and up another flight. Whoa! This is totally wicked! What's Someday, it's gonna be me living in one of these places. And then, watch out, pedestrians! Larry Laffer has a balcony! <laughs> This is the second major act of criminal trespass. Way to go. Word for entering Adam's penthouse. Adam. The sliding door. Oh, man. Bummer. I spent this whole night looking for a door I can open by sliding a newspaper underneath and poking the key out the other side of the keyhole so that it falls on the newspaper. Every computer game character gets to do that except me. It isn't fair. Oh, well. Let's see the deck. Unless my big deck. You step out onto the balcony. Oh, we're not there yet. And an incredible vista greets you. Holy shnikes! You take in the sweeping God, skyline, she is sexy. the towering eight-floor casino, the brunette in the hot tub at the neighboring penthouse. That is positively the most drop-dead gorgeous woman I have ever seen. Imagine how beautiful she must be when you're standing within a hundred feet of her. Larry, haven't you learned not to judge someone by looks alone? Yes. I can't hear you! La 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 la! You open the sliding glass door and go back in. <coughs> okay, I so just need to change it quite a bit here. This wind. You squeeze the box gently, but since it's really just a painting, no juice squirts out. It's over here. You go down in the elevator through a hallway, through a set of double doors, up a spiral staircase, and down three more elevators. Okay, how high up are we? You run your hands over. Hmm. Plush. And my hands don't stick to it like they do at the movie theater. Ew. Which theaters do you go to? Nothing says security like a desk with a neon sign. So she's over here in the locked key. And then there's this room right here that we have not yet answered. Well, you've already found the only exciting item there is to find here, but feel free to browse. And count yourself lucky that you're not hungry. Actually, I'm quite hungry. I just don't want... Oh, there's no Chinese buffet in town. I don't want to go. <laughs> After seeing that room. Mothers? There you are. You're my best crab tonight. But where was I? I swear. Jewish mothers? They're like pit bulls, you know? But there's one difference. Eventually, a pit bull lets go. And my dad, he's no prize either. One day, he goes into a church, into the confessional, and he says, Father, I've sinned. I've got six children and 15 grandchildren, and I've been married to the same woman for 62 years. But for the last three months, I've been having an affair with my doctor's 22-year-old nurse. We have amazing sex, night and day. It's fantastic. And the priest says, Excuse me, but I'm guessing from your accent that you're Jewish. And my dad says, yeah. The priest says, so why are you telling me? And my dad says, I'm telling everybody. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
You know why Jewish women love Chinese food, don't you? No. It's because wonton spelled backwards is not now. God damn it. Yeah, but my dad, he's a crazy Okay, I'm actually enjoying these. He's got hemorrhoids, you know. So, his doctor gave him a prescription for suppositories. He goes you can to the tell by the gauge of the latex that these are cheap, easily breakable so balloons. He pays for them and leaves, it's not worth and stealing an undependable later, balloon, says, even if you needed one, which refilled. you don't. The pharmacist says, I gave you 48 suppositories two days ago. What have you been doing with them? Eating them? And my dad says, what do you think I've been doing with them? Shoving them up my ass? <laughs> no, but seriously, my father's so Jewish, he sent me a tele- Will the gentleman in the 15-year-old porno costume please return it to the Smithsonian? Thank you. I wonder who that loser is. Any the diver. I got the achievement for the singer. You saw that. You've been... I think I know what I need to do. I don't know, I'm just guessing now. I'm absolutely lost. I should have known. Okay, where to... Dude, with the amount of money I win at the casino, I could probably buy my own car, so shut the fuck up. No, 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 it's the wrong way. Mita says 20... 23 buns? Okay. Thanks, kid. The bouncer takes the. Hmm. Your rabbi corn. Um. Oh. Welcome to Club. Thank you. Shalom. Right this way. Anything left over here? Nope. Shit. This lab looks familiar. But you just can't put your finger on it. You grope one of the labs and tweak Why the Why should I listen to the entire act of the singer? Whee! Well, if you're serious, I'll go. <coughs> There's nothing else I can do. I'm like, right I'm literally way. lost. I do like the design of these girls. Though they're ditzy as fuck. Enjoy your evening, sir or madam. Taxi! What is it? What do you want? Well, this is new. Kaneko, this doesn't have anything that, like... If I, this was the original game, I've done everything in the original game. You got the hooker, you have the gold digger, and then you have the, uh, Eve at the top. That'll be an even... Now they've added stuff and made it weirder. Thanks, kid. I do remember this one strange episode where you actually have to deal with a fucking orca. Now you see, you could conceivably have gotten away with the I'm hip line, but the yesery Bob totally destroyed any chance. I pledge my heart and all I can to you. Good evening, yep. ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeff Schitzfeldt, and you are a small but mighty crowd tonight. That's the way we like them here. Hey, there. will whoever park the home? Oh, can I can? All right, I am absolutely lost as to what we're supposed to be doing now. There might be something we left in the penthouse. There would not be a, the reason that just going to the penthouse to have nothing happen. You press the button. That's 
That glass door is awesome. The sofa matches the chair. Matching furniture is a new thing, Larry. You should look into it. My furniture doesn't You matter. sit in the armchair briefly. It's a luxurious experience until you stand up and the bottom cushion sticks to you slightly in one spot. Ugh. I'm glad I'm not wearing shorts. You sit on the sofa for a minute, then you stand up. That was a delightful respite from my non-stop adventuring. By acting insane and talking to things, you don't appear to be a mean-spirited burglar. Instead, you appear to be either an eccentric fruitcake or drug-addled celebrity. Thank you, Silver Shields. Well played, Larry. You gently cup the jug, then tweak. That's what you think. You wiggle and jiggle nope, the painting, but juice. it won't come off the wall. Controller. But I had fun trying, and that's what counts. You yank on the painting, but nothing comes of it. You go back out onto the deck. You poke and prod the yucca in hopes of finding something an enterprising schlub like you could use. You find nothing. It's pretty hot. It's hard to be seductive you're awesome. when you're shouting at the top of your lungs. <laughs> okay, so what are we supposed to be doing? We represent the Lollipop, the lollipop Guild. Guild! The Lollipop Guild! Okay. What can we do? Glass doors lead into this penthouse, just as they did... So there's literally nothing You to give do yourself here. a... Got my wallet? Comet! You Oops. sit on the sofa for a... That was a... This little side table has an interesting feature. When it gets warmer out, the table expands to seat six. Right now, there's definite shrinkage. That's the area rug is plush and warm, and the golden blonde wood of the floor is in superb condition. The only negative aspect is the beating of the old man's hideous heart under the planks. But hey, every apartment has some downsides. Okay, so is you there sweep room? a little dust under the rug just to leave the place. <coughs> Why does I feel like there's something that there's something in this area that I've totally missed? I don't know. Yep. The other button on the desk I can't use it as a keyhole. This button won't depress. There's a little keyhole nearby, so apparently this button is in locked position. Mm. Don't touch it, Larry. You'll give yourself a stroke. <laughs> I just did. This service phone only reaches numbers inside the hotel, and there's nobody here that you need to call. You give yourself a... Got my comment. There's still no answer. If you want to get in, you'll have to find a way. Okay. Oh wait, there's a key in a sewer gate. That's absolutely new to me that there's a key in the sewer gate. Yeah, there's a mess of trash right here, so let me look at that. Apples! You peer inside the storm drain. There's nothing inside it worth fishing out. Nope. Papers, cans, and even the occasional syringe give the curb a warm, welcoming feel. Yeah, baby! Over one billion served. Where was supposed to... Oh, yeah, I know what we used the hot... I know what we used the hot sauce for. Yeah. Good boy for nothing. That'll be an even. Thanks, kid. 
Yeah, they added so much to this. That's you not peer funny. down the storm drain. Oh, there he goes. All you can see is a key. You reach between the bars of the storm grate and fish out the key. It turns out to be a door key from some other company's adventure game, so you toss it back. What? You peer down the storm drain. All you can see is a. We've already established that all there is down there is a door key for a different Fuck you. The storm drain is a pit of loss and abandonment, swallowing forever one's regrets, aspiration. The storm Are you following me? Considering you're clearly homeless. Yeah, the birds and snails keep me picked pretty clean. How's the wine, you bum? I'd prefer to be called Roddy Contiki. I'm not really that fond of you bum. The wine is a little funky. You didn't- Oh, I think I did. Okay, now that burning musky aftertaste makes sense. You know. Hey, it's Panther Musk. Taxi. And 60% of the time, it works every time. You touch the building and you're... Your coach... We're going back to that room that, for some reason, made a sound effect. On the seventh floor. Oh, need... Thanks, kid. Why does it have two exhaust pipes? You can't do it. How are you supposed to know that? The seven floors were almost identical. Yep, oh, I see something. How do we miss that? You take the cover all. The key fits in the lock. You turn the bolt and the door easily opens. Of course. See how that works there? Yeah, baby. You Woo. walk through a maze of twisty little passages, all alike, until finally you walk through an archway and into... Holy guacamole! Looks like something With out the of Archer. The the Archer, I love that show, but this looks like something out of Archer. Your leisure suit immediately wilts, sadly. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. Au contraire, Pierre. The humidity will make my suit cling to my body and show off my physique. Okay, you can shut up now. What? What? Stroke that girl's glistening, wet, firm, tanned body? No, I wasn't meant to talk to her. I keep thinking that's talk. You get close enough to smell her. She smells so fresh and clean and vibrant and sexy and soft. Oh my god! I think I'm in love with her pheromones! Yeah, baby! Hi. She stands before you, totally unselfconscious of her near nakedness. That's encouraging. Yes. Who are you? What are you doing here? And how did you get in? This is a restricted area. I have hey, superpowers. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry That's Laffer, how I got in. I found a key that fits this door. That's kind of what I do. Wow. Points for boldness then, Mr. Laffer. Call me Larry. Okay, Larry. Larry. I'm Larry Jasmine. Laffer. And I have no idea what she said. So what do you do here? I work here. I ride Mr. Wiggles bareback. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles is a very, very lucky man. Yes, Mr. he Wiggles is. Mr. Wiggles is my whale. Don't act like you didn't know that. I'm just trying to be charming. Maybe it's working. Jasmine, how do you hold your breath so long? I can't swim across a kiddie pool underwater. You must have great lungs. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess I'm just well endowed. You can say that again. Come again? Yes. What? How did you know? Huh? Let's start over. <laughs> so Jasmine, tell me. 
How does one get a gig doing nothing but whaleback riding? Oh, I do much more than that. Riding Mr. Wiggles is just the fun part. <laughs> I also get to feed him and clean up after him when he gets sick and carefully cleanse his blowhole. Really? That's funny. I've got a... Don't go down that path, Larry. You'll blow it. Ah, uh, I mean, I've got a feeling. A feeling that that's a terrible job. Why don't you quit? What? And <laughs> give up show business? Gee, Jasmine, for a girl who's around fish all day, you sure do smell good. Oh, thank you. It is difficult to stay fresh. Your perfume is fantastic. Thanks, Larry. I guess you could say that I'm somewhat of a perfume connoisseur. Larry, a connoisseur is one who understands the details, techniques, and principles of an art, and is competent to act as a critical judge. I actually yeah, knew that. Exactly, Silver Shields. So, you understand the details, techniques, and principles of perfume, and are competent to act as a critical judge? Exactly. Gosh, Larry, it's like you know me. Nope. Inside and out. Inside? Wow. Just wow. Perfume's my passion. <coughs> I have, like, literally a thousand perfumes. Some of them are really, really, really expensive. I don't think there's one I don't have. You always wear perfume? Oh, yes. A lot of the time, that's all I wear. Meow. Oh, my God. Oh, my happy, happy God. <laughs> well, then, I guess it's safe to assume you don't need more perfume. Are you kidding? I'm dying for something new, something fresh, something original. But at this point, I don't think there's a man on Earth who could come up with that. There's your cue, Larry. But where are you going to find a unique perfume that she's never smelled before? Right. It's great to meet you, Jasmine. I'll be back in a flash with something you're going to love. No need to hurry, Larry. I'm about to go on break, but I really hope I see you later. All right. So let's let's all listen though. You're on the right track, but try a more direct approach with the hot sauce. Excuse me, that's Mr. Wiggles' food. He might not like it with someone else's body stink on it, but nothing personal. How could I possibly take that personally? <laughs> so you sure you don't want to just put it? You're on the right track. You jiggle the nearest locker. It's hence the name. You jiggle hence. It's firmly right. Well, I need to figure out where it is first. The sign is a list of precautions, such as high salt content pool, remove fillings before swimming. This machinery probably maintains the pool's salinity, oxygenation, and other technical stuff that doesn't interest you. I know I need ambergris to make it because, yeah. You open the bin. There's nothing inside but a little fetid fish water in the bottom. The bins look like they contain little dead fish to feed to the aquarium's larger animals for when they turn tricks. Wait, did we say turn? We meant do. <laughs> Who doesn't want hooker freaking dolphins and whales? You walk through a little maze of twisty passages, all alike, until you find your way back to civilization. Where there's civilization in this game? This service phone. Oh, use your. Do we have to get her to get away from him? You so turn the boat. So that there we There's go. There's nobody here. Jasmine must have gone on break. Let's get some of you. Put this in Mr. Blowhole. Carefully, you tip the hot sauce bottle into Mr. Wiggles' blowhole oh, and God. pour out the entire contents. Why do we have a sperm whale in here? Bubbles rise to the top of the sauce as it slowly glugs down into the whale's inner recesses. Don't try this at home. 
Easy there, big fella. He can't take anymore. He's gonna blow! Deep within the aquarium, the overspiced whale gives a mighty heave. Something floats to the surface of the aquarium. Mr. Wiggles swims away, snorking constantly. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we have say some cartoon animals were injured in the making of this game, awarded for pouring hot sauce in the whale's blowhole. You kneel and scoop the water towards yourself until the ambergris is within reach. Yeah. It's gooey and revolting, and you stick it in your pocket without a second thought. You're not really capable of second thoughts. Yeah, baby. Let's grab that fish. You never know when a recently deceased squid will come in handy. Yeah, baby. Oh, those were squids? Why were you fucking serving squids to him? Like pure stink, though, th uh, through and through. The breath spray won't make a dent. That is hungry. I did not. Yeah, but it just seems weird. You usually just serve them fish. There we go. There's nothing on the man. Yeah, Ambergris's fork can worth a fortune, millions of dollars. Especially fresh fork like this. Uh, will there be a cat on this screen? See, the other thing that's problem, another problem, problematic element of this game is the random animals that show up every once in a while. Hey, buddy. Don't leave that where a mediocre celebrity might. St it's decorative enough. You're kidding. You hold the squid out to the cat. You quickly grab one of the used syringes lying all too plentifully around lost wages. What am I doing? With a startling adeptness that raises questions about what you do in your free time, you extract the fluid from the cat's musk glands. What? The cat the runs off without so much as a vengeful backwards glance that might foreshadow a sequel, or at least a really bloody scene later. Congratulations, you've got the best available local civet. Score! Yeah, baby! You have such a gentle touch with your discarded syringe. A word for extracting the civet. I... What? Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! I was curious about that myself. Now, what else do I need? Amazingly, the plant's unterrible leaves are somehow bolted to the roots, which are somehow bolted to the soil, which is bolted to the pot, which is bolted to the sidewalk. Nice. You stealthily snitch a large, fragrant jasmine blossom. Need to find some type of liquid. All she really wants, and yours is slightly irregular. All she and your the taxi call box is. All right. Taxi. It's you again. I got. Dude, what have I done wrong, dude? All I've done is pay for my your fares constantly. Fuck off. Your short side always tells the truth. 
it'll be an even 20. It's all. I have no fucking clue what I know about perfumes. The cab. The cab. Thanks, kid. That's why I was coming here. I thought, oh, 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 oh. Better to get it from the bar. Want me to do the 69 thing again? No. No, you do not. Taxi! He looks so angry. What the hell have you been eating? Rotten corn. I'm gonna punch that cell right. Too tired to drive, better go fast. The damage is 18. Thanks, kid. Have a seat at the bar. Hello? What'll it be? Around wine, light beer, vodka. I want to do some serious damage. Give me a vodka. Vodka's not flavorless. That'll be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. You don't drink the vodka. Instead, you carry it around in the shot glass because you simply... Hello? May I please have a glass of your delicate white Zinfandel, sir? Hey, what... No achievement for that? That'll be five dollars, please. You flip, you delicately sip. I find this impudent and sassy with the slightest hint of impertinence. Suddenly, you feel a little woozy. Yeah, baby! Make sure the cap is the extra tight and... okay. Yeah, uh, at least you had the good sense of only creating what made about you, you de Larry. Where did the paper tape and the pen come from? Who knows? Who cares? All well, that matters is you put something together to give Jasmine. She'll give you your heart right back to red twice. So if you get really drunk, what happens? You feel a little lightheaded. Uh. You're unsure if you'll be able to walk straight. Wow, you are fucking... Oh, Shaking your head, you finally clear away the cobwebs and are once again able to walk in your standard studly style. Seriously, I do love the art collection. Taxi! Like here. I'm gonna start charging you red. Fuck you. And that'll be. I always thought Thanks, vodka kid. and everything else had a very distinct flavor. Up we go. You let yourself... Larry, I was wondering where you'd gone. You have anything for me? Yes. Yes, I do. And I hope you like it. You pull yeah. out your Ode Larry and lay it on her. Ode oh, Larry, Ode Larry. What is this? I call it Oh, de Larry. Oh, Larry. Oh, de Larry. Ooh. Did someone just yodel? Anyway, oh, lady, oh, it's lady, the first lady. in my new line. Really? I didn't realize you were a parfumier. Why, yes. Yes, I am. Ever since my before. Ass is very and I created this scent just for you. In fact, I've created several scents today just thinking about you. 
But no. this is the only one I bottled. Intriguing. <laughs> Jasmine opens the bottle, waves it in the air, and inhales the lingering aroma. You bad boy. It's Jasmine. What else? She inhales again. And is that civet? Sort of. Ooh la la. And there's something else. Tabasco? Okay. Well, maybe just a little. Do you like it? It's a very unusual combination. There's something else. Something rare and valuable. That's right. Wow, Jasmine. Your nostrils are like two beautiful bloodhounds. I'd My shut up God. now. God, you know just what to say, don't you? Is that amber grease? Exactly. How exotic. And it's from Mr. Wiggles, too. What? what? You'd be surprised. Huge whale like that. You just give him a little bitty bottle of Tasteless Dave's butt burner hot sauce. What? Of course, you can't dilute the it fuck in up, aquarium dude. water. You have to pour it straight into the blowhole. What? You gave hot sauce to Mr. Wiggles? You screaming douche puppet! Screaming what now? Screaming douche puppet! Best lean ever! Defenseless whale! Defenseless? He weighs 40 tons! Mr. Wiggles is my best friend! You're horrible! I never want to see you again! Get out and don't come back! So I bet you don't want to know how I got the civet. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> the civet's how about more humane! Passionate love just once, for old time's sake. Get out, get out, get out! CP. Here, this is for me. Well, how nice. Thank me. I'm welcome. And now the locker door's open so we can come back in. Jasmine's not that bad of a scent. You snag the little kit. Yeah, baby. Alright, what's the. It's one of those latex repair kits, such as the one you'd find near the swimming pool, or Michael Jackson's makeup case. Alright, now we need to find some latex. Yes. You can leave. And leave, dude. Now, where are we going to find some latex? Nothing seems to have any effect on this button. Because we're assholes that way. Hmm. Okay, so you find your okay. That won't get Wait a second. I had a brainstorm. What if? Oh, I was gonna go use buy condom and inflate that. Just inflate a bunch of condoms. Cause I don't see anything in here that's You sit in the armchair briefly. Ugh. I'm glad I'm not wearing shorts. You sit in the armchair briefly. It's a luxurious experience until you stand up and the bottom cushion sticks to you slightly and Ugh. You poke and you poke and prop. You poke. Nope, nothing wrong. You poke and prop. Yeah, we knew it wouldn't come easy. There you are. You're my best crab tonight. 
Anyway, yes. I said the only thing that came into my mind. I said, you can tell by the gauge of the latex that these are cheap. Then I took off my pants and she saw my knees. Which Where's the other room? Because I was trying to figure out if there was another exit. They didn't make it evident. No, but seriously, now I. I've tried walking there. I swear to God. I've tried because I've tried walking here multiple times. Did I not? I didn't click the right area. There it we go. It smells very strongly of other people's bedroom. There have been men and women together in here. You can tell. It sure is swank, though. And from the artwork, I'm pretty sure this is a man's room. It smells familiar. Banana and nuts burying a dog burying his bones, spanking the monkey. <laughs> Banana and nuts. You hate to touch another man's sheets because they're probably a lot like yours. Still, you check under the bed to make sure nobody's hiding there. Man, even his dust bunnies are having fun down there. Shut the fuck up. You poke through the drawer in the nightstand. It contains handcuffs, ball gags, spiked collars, blindfolds, hoods, Everything for a and Friday a jar night. of chocolate hazelnut spread with a brand name you would instantly recognize. Nothing that could possibly be useful. I'll just leave it all there. No. Incidentally, if you're wondering how all that stuff fits in that little drawer, it may be thin, but it's long enough to extend into the room behind it. The walls seem solid and well insulated, which is good because the Yahtzee games can get pretty loud in here. You open the closet door. Whoops. A deflated love doll oh God, tumbles no. out onto the floor. Ever the gentleman, you help her up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Hey, baby. You're beautiful. Wanna come with me? You nod her head. Score! You tuck the love doll into your jacket. At least now you don't have to go through the rest of this game alone. You close yeah, the closet door. That's better. Now there's less evidence that I've been here. I had that you have to do it in a certain order. Yeah, apply this special patch it, cement to patches. You weigh the patches in the air, not to dry the cement, uh, uh, but to because you don't have much experience huffing. You apply the patches to the love dolls on it, unanticipated fourth and fifth orses, press yeah, and pull. You can fix anything. What woman wouldn't like a guy like you? Answer all of them. Awarded for patching up the love doll. Ah, from walking to places carrying a helium filled love doll. <laughs> hey, I want a helium filled love doll. So I just wasn't clicking. I've been like clicking like here, thinking that's where I had to click, but I just had to click there. Uh, that's my fault. Let's see where the patches are. You inflate the love doll with the helium. It empties the canister, so you toss it away. So who's fucking her nipples? No. And here, nearly 100 feet up in the mysterious troposphere, the breeze and swirling air currents begin to tug at the love doll. Get a good look at her while you still can. She looks like a sultry beach ball. If you find her gaze slightly mocking, you're not imagining it. Mm -hmm. It's her mouth, or as it's called in the love doll industry, orifice, orifice number, number one. one. Wow, an electronic rendering of a cheap plastic toy's pretend mammary glands with aftermarket nipples. You can't get much closer to real nudity. You're right. It's almost like a comedy drawing. Wow, almost. an ele- A good stiff breeze, is there any other kind, kicks up and almost tears her from your hands. Thanks to the lift coefficient generated by your leisure suit's enormous lapels, you feel yourself being pulled upward. The love doll catches a convenient Don't crosswind a and she carries you up, up and away. It's a good thing you're going to be a lightweight. Up. You sail closer and closer to the woman of your dreams. Whee! You touch down gently on the other deck. And stick the landing. You release the love doll and she floats away gently in the moon. How come I don't even have a woman the in the points. hot tub looks mightily impressed with your dramatic entrance? Like I don't even have half the points. You before. haven't been invited in, Larry. You're not in the hot tub, Larry. Yeah, baby. 
The Hi. two of you make direct eye contact. It's like a bolt of lightning goes into your eyes, down your body, and blows your toes off. She gazes at you with amusement and smoldering interest. Hamana, hamana, hamana. Hello She's yourself. Good. I'm Eve. I'll pull the stand out of my other standard introduction. My hair was stripped. I like to hit take up and talk about clothing. It's the exact. Hey, gorgeous. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Larry. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Why does he always Larry. laugh? What an attractive leisure suit. Oh, I so miss them. It's refreshing to meet a man with so much self-confidence. Don't worry, it's the 20s. That he's willing so to flog the fickle soon. trends of fashion mores and deeply travel the road of his own secure masculinity. Was she talking to you, Larry? Well, uh, Eve, I've always felt um, it's a look that's right for me. A man has to do what a man has to do. That's what I always say. I agree completely. I'm so tired of men who wear or say anything just to gain a woman's favors. You clearly would never do anything like that, Larry. <laughs> and I so love what you are wearing. You have a sense of humor. Oh, Larry, you are one special man. I've been watching you, Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. You try too hard, but you have a good heart. Oh, you've been watching Why me. Why don't you slip into this water and we'll see if we can really get to know each other. What? Uh, yes, of course I'd like to join you. In fact, I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. Give me a minute, Eve. Don't keep me waiting too long, Larry. Don't even... You strip off your jacket. You strip off the rest of your clothes. Yeah, baby. You slip into the hot tub. You take no time to adjust to the water's temperature, since you really can't feel anything right now except the deafening beat of your own heart. Yep. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <sighs> you turn the valve a little. There. Is that better? You turn the valve a little. You don't like so many bubbles? You turn the valve a little. You don't like the way I had it set? You turn the valve a little. That's fine. You turn the valve a little. Okay, that's good. You turn the valve Come a on. little. Come on! Really? You turn the valve a little. Fine. You turn the valve a little. What are you up to? You turn the valve a little. Larry? You turn the valve a little, and the bubbles shut off entirely. Dun dun dun! You are so proud! No, don't tell anyone how, what you did. A word for turning off the bubbles in Eve's hot tub. Larry, Titties! I think you did that deliberately. I'm going to tell my friend Roberta on you. Yes. Titties. <laughs> bah. Uh, it would be even better if they still had, like, the buoyancy and were bouncing up. <laughs> Ah. At the yeah, risk of appearing baby. trite, you did it. You not only got like laid, an apple? but you found true love. Maybe a word for giving me apple. Trite? Apple Hardly. I'm still missing a shitload of I've been points. waiting for something, anything from you, Larry. Besides, I'm horny as hell, and you're the only man in sight. Let's go. Me first. And with that, she disappears under the churning water. Yeah, I'm still missing a shitload of points. So where are the what were those from? Congratulations! Shut. You finally got Larry off to a great start. I'm Al Lowe. And speaking of great starts, I want to thank the thousands of Kickstarter backers who made this game possible, and the amazing, talented folks whose names will soon appear here. Thank you for reloading Leisure Suit Larry. So, according to the original canon, these two get married, then they get divorced by the next game because she, he just can't keep up the performance that she wants, etc., etc., etc. 
So in the second game, Larry goes off to an uh, uh, an actual island held prisoner by an evil doctor, uh, basically forcing Christian morals on <laughs> just a hedonistic lifestyle. Uh, I just remember all these stupid games. God damn, the 90s was a weird time. No, that's seriously it. Now, the second game, it turns out that, okay, he goes to a tropical island where an evil villain is forcing Christian or Puritan ideals on a hedonistic society that just likes throwing on top of us and have nothing but ra raunches sex. So Larry frees them, gets a wife from them, and then she decides that, no, he's not wild enough for them and divorces him by the third game, where he meets his love rival, Pep, uh, Passionate Patty. They were supposed to fall in love and have something like that, and then they skipped forward to game five, where the two of them got separated, they never explained why, and then Larry's a bachelor once again. Does anyone remember those games, like, besides me? Because I could play them all, but those ones are all 16-bit color. Or 16 color. Sometimes we give our hearts away too easily. To any Johnny come lately with a pretty face and a good story. So I'm dedicating this song to a sly little guy I like to call equity crowdfunding. Sweetheart. Our flight of passion had a quick start But now I've nothing but a sick heart Watching your numbers rise and rise Up late, hoping to hear your latest update But I've run out of love to don't <sighs> yeah, I've played all the games for a long time, one way or another. I'm tracking, you're backing, I hear you say the Kickstarter division. Oh, yeah, oh god, this is gonna be huge, isn't it? I'm paying to stay. Oh, this is gonna be able to take forever. <coughs> Our love has made me a bit street smart You give my motor such a kickstart I pledge my heart and all I can to you Production babies, none, we all were lovers Oh god damn it Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded. If you enjoyed the show, I'm free with a donation from my time. Please subscribe the video, click the donate button, leave whatever the fuck you think I'm worth. Any amount, any amount whatsoever would help me create the universe of my job and only kind. I'm just trying to pay off my bills that for the next year already, and it really sucks that the first bill is kind of rather huge. I'll do the math, the rest of it will be fine. So, have a wonderful night. So, you're still going to bed. I'll be up for a bit longer than a total idiot, but I gotta be up early to take Luna to an emergency dental to, um, issue. He's having some major issues. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, all. Good night. If, I, if, if I'm not stuck at the dentist all day. Because, for those who don't know, I was sick, on, I was sick through Christmas with the flu. Luna got the flu, and then he started... He basically coughed and puked so hard that he coughed out his new fillings. So... That's the better explanation. It wasn't his teeth. He coughed out his new fillings. And which means they weren't securely. Yeah, better. Excuse me. So he's worried as shit now. So if I'm not here tomorrow, you know why. Love you all. Good night.